Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. And welcome to Quizzle Mania 26. Get all fired up. Uh, and in the true spirit of Bret Hart and Vincent Kennedy McMahon, I will be shepherding four elderly superstars who really should be in their bed uh, through a slugfest that is objectively too long. I am Adam Blompier. Welcome to Quizlemania 26. Uh, we're going to jump right in to the belly of the beast and welcome back the first ever Quizlemania champion of all times. It's Randrew Andrew Datsun. Hello, Andy. Hi. It's getting a bit old saying that now, isn't it? Like you kind of, it's, it's sort of, it's sort of saying that the first ever WWE champion, and then there's been like what fifty five since then. So um, a, a while it's still a, obviously an honour. Uh, it's it's if it, it feels like it was a long time ago. But as as you were saying beforehand, this could be the least trivia based show we've ever done, and that's why I won the first two. Yeah, they were man. not very trivia based. This is your jam, that jam. Uh, there's it really it's all, is. It's all farting about this one. There's mm. very little. Like I can just see Tempest fuming in the lobby. But I'm so, I'm sorry. I've got to try. I've got I've got to work against you. Uh, but yeah, Andy, that's what um, the people want. They want. They want. They want more of me. That's definitely what they want. If I've learned anything from reading uh, YouTube comments, it's where's Andy Datsun? And here he is tonight. Uh, do you have any uh, special stratagems in order to deal with the uh, what is becoming a onslaught of canadian dominance from our yes channel. so uh i've actually got the chat up there uh and because as you can see i've got a really shiny forehead i can then look into my forehead and read the chat in the corner of the room so uh that's why i had a haircut this earlier this week so i'd not even have to worry i can just see what the chat's saying it does look it, it feels like you've got the same amount of hair but more head yeah, so I've always had since from birth a giant head. My my mum kind of does the the, the cowboy walk, um, and uh, <laughs> I, basically I, I I was born as a hot air balloon, and I slew, slowly grew into a lollipop or a, or a popsicle, whatever you want to call it in America, a sucker. Um, and yeah, so but but earlier this week I was speaking, <laughs> speaking speaking to my girlfriend and she said, yeah, I just I think you'd have a haircut. So I I popped to Sainsbury's, the local supermarket, got one of the trimmers and just buzzed it all off. Obviously not quite to the same level as last time, but I think I did an okay job. All right, so uh, next up uh, we have um, one of the the people's favourites. Uh, we mustn't let it go to his head, but he has been called uh, by by uh, the Guardian as the greatest and nicest Quizlemania contestant of all time. Uh, in Quizlemania magazine, he was voted most. Uh, he is the one, the only mastermind's favourite, Adam Pearson. Hello, mate. How are you doing, good sir? It, it's really good to see you. I, I'm sure you appreciated my heads up that planning Quizlemania the same day as Hitman 3 and nothing else happening in the news may have, okay. may have shafted me ever so slightly. One it's, of these days, I'll come on a Quizlemania and you'll ask me actual questions about wrestling. It's a but momentous I'm... occasion. Hitman 3 came out today and I've been so busy. I haven't managed to play it yet. Should we just sack this off? I could put on just like some gifts or something or just like have Andy's holler playing over in the background. We can just go and like kill some imaginary dudes. Like I, I love Hitman two bits. Um, I've been playing Hitman two loads uh, recently. But yeah, no, it is the it is the main thing that's happening today. I assume that's why we yeah. may get slightly lower turnout uh, today, because I believe yeah, it's Hitman three day. Hitman three. <laughs> Everyone bought Hitman three. Everyone's bought him. I, I hear Joe Biden's just loving it. Like he's already had the, the PS4 installed, uh, or PS5 probably. Actually, um, I, man, I, I, I want to play it so bad. <laughs> uh, you I, I, it. Oh, it's, I've had, I've had a bit of a bit of a crack on it, and and done sort of like the you 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 um you arrive. I don't want to. I'm trying to talk around it a bit here. So I like spoil, spoil me. I will deduct but so you, many points. 
I know, I know. You, you, you. It just starts. You just rock up in the first mission, and just the, the opening is is spectacular. I reckon it's the best of the three. I oh, reckon they finally oh. finessed everything. Oh, stop, Adam! I, I can't. All right, okay. I, right, I, I'm, I'm just going to rock it through the rest of the quiz. Hope that's okay. But have a bloody it's lovely fine. time. It's really nice to see you again. You too, kind sir. You too. All right, uh, straight through then, straight through. There, there is Hitman Three waiting in the wings. Um, I obviously, you know, we we talk about Adam Pearson, lovely man, uh, kind man. Uh, but is he lovely, kind, and tall? I think not. Hi, Dave Bradshaw. <laughs> Hi, Adam Lovey. Hey, how on earth are you? I'm really good, Dave. It's been such a long time since we've been in the same place. It has, and, and I don't know if people know this, but you, you used to be my boss. You were the <laughs> authority figure, uh, a wrestling promotion we both used to work for. I, uh, I seem to remember something along those lines. Yes, my general managership, managership days. Uh, sorry for sticking you with uh, with Mr. Kennedy all those years. I know, yeah, I blame He still tweets me now. I blame you. <laughs> uh, it's so lovely to see you. Uh, welcome to Quizlemania. Uh, obviously, uh, as anyone who follows you on Twitter, at your Twitter at, which is? At Dave Bradshaw. Very nice. Classic. Uh, knows that you are, a, you are a trivia fan because uh, you have been getting us all through lockdown with some crosswords you've been making, which I have been enjoying greatly. I have. I discovered uh, the, the website Sporkle, right? The one where, you know, it's like the sort of uh, YouTube for quizzes where you can upload your own quizzes and stuff. And so there's a lot of wrestling quizzes on there. So I've been, that got me through last summer. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a crossword one day. And I, and I did. Uh, and I had upwards of 100 people play it. Oh, yeah. It is a <laughs> choice time waster, is Sporkle. Uh, it is definitely one of the best ways to pretend like you're working whilst also absolutely not working. Uh, so as a, as a debuting guest on Quizlemania, the only question uh, that matters, really, is, Dave Bradshaw, what's your favourite fast food franchise? Oh, Taco Bell. Dave Bradshaw. Yeah, 100%. I was so happy when it uh, when it migrated to the UK a couple of years ago. And guess what? And actually, you know, they, they started having a couple in London, but my hometown, which is Woking in Surrey, you would think that's a random place to have one of the first Taco Bells, but they picked it for its for their UK headquarters. So there is a Taco Bell in my hometown. Okay, so uh, Andy is having some sort of fit in the in the lobby. So let me let me just bring it. Andy, what's going on? I'm from Woking. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> we could hang out. I grew up in Horsell and in that pill. Oh, I go to the pub there sometimes. This is oh. not happening. Enjoy the show, Dave. Enjoy the show. Jesus. Uh, and finally, your reigning defending Quizomania champion, and the like Tempest by Tempest. Hi, Adam. Fact check. You what, said what that this was going to be a match between old people. Why am I old all of a sudden? You, Andy Dadson a... and I combined aren't even 50. You have accrued the wisdom that is usually reserved for trees. You seem to have, I like, you have the data up here of someone much beyond your years, of a grizzled man who's half into a pint of Nuki Brown, like just mumbling wrestling facts into his, <laughs> into his bovril. Uh, how are you, Tempest? Are you well? Oh, I'm quite well, Adam. You know, uh, lockdown has gotten has gotten worse here in Ontario, Canada, so that's uh, no fun. But we're here to forget about all of that for a few hours on some not wrestling trivia, I suppose. I don't care. You need you need to put a handicap against me point wise because even without trivia, I'm gonna wipe wipe the floor with all of these fine people. Even my tag team partner, Randy Andy Datsun. It's going wow. down. Now, just be Tempest. Tempest. I will I will warn you, you are veering dangerously close to Luke Owen heel turn territory right now. You're a champ, you do awfully well, you are the people's prince, but now it, it appears to be going to your head. So just I'm 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 trying to give you a reality check because they turned on Luke and they turned on him fast. All right, Tempest. I, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to to say something baby face. Okay. Go for it. Well, thank you, kind Sir Adam. Uh, I'm quite well aware that members of Team Tempest have started to, to jump ship. And it's, it's understandable, but I want to make this show... I want to be a representative of this show. 
And not in a, oh, look at me, I'm the best. But this is a place where we can raise money for great causes on occasion. It's a place where we can come together and have a really good time in an otherwise really poor time for everyone in the world. And hopefully, I can be someone on this show where we can all make things a little bit better for the people watching. Thank you, Tempest. I, 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 I still believe that that's you. But it's it's sounding more and more like a script every single week. Can I very, very quickly, before uh, we get into the actual quiz, yeah. I want to reassure the people out there that the tattoo is coming. I will not just forget about this. I wanted to give a quick update on it. Uh, we're working on the design. This is not going to be just something that's hastily thrown together just oh, no. for the sake of it. No, you're, you're weirdly really putting a, proper... a lot more thought into this tattoo than Hulk Hogan did. Yeah, yeah. And to all the people suggesting that I get the matching Hulk Hogan tattoo, there is nothing that could be done to make me get a tattoo that is shared with Hulk Hogan. I'm sure there's some money that we, um, an amount of money. It exists. It exists that amount of money. Anyway, have a bloody great show. Uh, let me just uh, get rid of you and then uh, quickly say hi, everyone. Uh, so, uh, as usual, uh, you will know that we uh, offer an ultra chat system here at Quizzle Mania. Uh, so, if you do want to chat with us, I'll be reading out Quizzle Chats as the show goes along. Um, of course, those ultra chats are to be uh, to be found at the link which I have just realized might not be at the top of the description, which might explain why we haven't got very many. So let's just go into the back end and deal with that. Whoopsie doodle, I'm so good at my job. But like I say, uh, as usual, we will be dealing with ultra chats. Um, Anything more than a fiver will be read out uh, by my good self. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the show. We really, 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 come on internet. We really, 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 really appreciate it. We appreciate it. We really, yeah, I forgot to put the link. We really, really, really appreciate it. Where's the bloody, where is it? Come on. <laughs> I can't do we really, really, never mind. All right, look. It's wrestletalk.com always... forward slash support. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm just getting a, a, a note from our delightful mods. Uh, link will always be in the pinned comment. It's in the pinned comment, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, lovely mod mother. You're the best. <laughs> Let me just copy that and put it at the top of the description. Uh, there we are. WrestleTalk.com forward slash PFK. That oh, do it's PFK. Me. You you um, also called them Quizzle Chats at one point. Did I? Yeah. I'm having a great day. Look, quite good. It's Hitman Three Day. I'm and frazzled. you called him Joe Je Biden. Who is Joe Biden? You guys are playing a game about Bret Hart. WrestleTalk.com forward slash PFK. There you go. Done. Uh, I've misspelled that. Lovely. Welcome to the really professional quiz, everybody. Uh, so um, let's start straight away, as we normally do, with the one, the only. Price is shite. There we go. All right. So the way this works is I have gone not to eBay this week, but to God, by God almighty, wish.com. Uh, oh. <laughs> some outrageously awful bits of tat. Uh, so I'm going to show you a terrible wrestling bit of merch. Uh, you got to tell me how much you think it's worth in pounds sterling, please. Oh my God. Uh. Help me. <laughs> Step up, Tempest. What now? No, uh, I don't know what a pound is. How much uh, is a Canadian dollar in a pound, Adam? Give him, give him that at least. All right, I will, I will tell you. So one uh, pound to Canadian dollars. Uh, 1.73 Canadian dollars in a pound. So almost double. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm just so, be guessing anyway. Uh, whoever is closest without going over will get five points which is loads of points. Uh, remember, uh, close without going over, price is right rules. If everyone goes over, then we all guess again. So how much would you pay in pound sterling for this? It is a vinyl sticker that you can put on your oh, wall just to man. really let people know that you like 
Yeah. Like, amateur wrestling. If you brought a girl home and she saw that on your wall, uh, she'd, she'd know. <laughs> she'd know what you were about. Yeah. And, um, and that's the exact size, is it? Like, com compared to a sofa. That is real life. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that could that's be... That's just a standard sofa. sofa. <laughs> that's a ta yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a normal sofa size. It could be a tiny sofa, but I'm pretty sure that is uh, the size of it. It just looks like two kids playing on the sofa. Right, uh, Virgil Nomodo says, uh, Wrestle Talk and Quiz Main have got me through some rough times, so I'm always happy to support. Question for the room. What is your favourite non-Rumble Royal Rumble match? Mine would be the Triple Threat, Seth Rollins, John Cena, and Brock Lesnar. Does anyone have any advance on that? Oh, I do, 100%. Uh, tri Triple H, Cactus Jack, Royal Rumble 2000, Street Fight, all day. Oh, all your question. Favorite, uh, favorite non-Rumble Royal Rumble match? Oh. I'm going to go Rock Mankind, I Quit, Royal Rumble 99. If you'd like watching a murder... Sure. Uh, yeah, how, no, that is... how is Dave's any better? How is the street <laughs> fight any less of murder? Well, there's slightly fewer unprotected <laughs> chair shots to yeah. the head in the street fight. But no, don't get me wrong. Like at, at the time, and even looking back on it, like knowing what we know, it's it's outrageously like it's it's definitely like a spectacle. Uh, that match yeah. for sure. Um, no one said Chris Benoit versus Kurt Angle. Ooh, John, John Cena versus yeah. Umaga. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's good. Wait, wasn't I just that? Like the, oh, I, just like the end, I just like the last spot. All right. Uh, and one more says, non-Caucasian Chad Gable. Excellent. Says, <laughs> watching this while setting up for Dungeons and Dragons. Trying to convince the group to play worldwide wrestling. Thanks for being the entertaining bastards you always are. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. Uh, worldwide wrestling is a fantastic system by Nathan D. Power a letter. Make sure you check out CBW, the rechristened uh, show, CBW, no longer No Rolls Barred, because, of course, Phenomena is now called No Rolls Barred, which you should also subscribe to if you like yourself some board games. All right, so we're going to go to our debuting guest first, Dave. How much would you pay to put that on your lovely, white, clean walls? Can, can I say before I answer as well that... Uh... You know, I know, Adam, you told me yesterday I need to go and get a notepad and a, and a Sharpie. Mm. Of course, all the station and shops are closed. So I had to get whatever they have in Sainsbury's. So I've got this uh, spectacularly enormous. <laughs> and I could only get 15 Sharpies <laughs> of a variety of colours. So I might do, I might use a different colour for every answer. But anyway, £19.95. £19.95 to our other special guest, Adam Pearson. I went with £12. £12. Uh, Andy? Fun story. I once bought one of these thinking it was going to be clear uh, of the Hogwarts crest. And it was like a, a wood background thinking, oh, great, that'll go on my door or something. And then it just came up as a sticker of a wood door with a with the Hogwarts crest on it. So I couldn't put it anywhere. Uh, but I've gone for eleven sixty nine. Nice eleven sixty nine and Tempest. Going with a different strategy here. Going for one pound. Oh, I see. I see your games, son. Uh, well, I can reveal that this will set you back. Fourteen pounds oh, points for Adam Pearson. Instant redemption angle. You love to see it. Very, very right, nice. Can I point out? I started off really well last time I was on. Oh, so did let's you? Not, <laughs> let's all manage our expectations here. <laughs> all right. Up next on the auction item, how much would you pay for this, Andre the Giant? Rubber mask. Oh, that's <laughs> horrifying. Um, I, 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 I can so, like if you showed that to me and said, "Who's that?" My first guess would probably be either Andre the Giant or Fred West. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. It looked exactly like Fred West. Does anybody uh, want a peanut? 
<laughs> My apologies. That's how he lured them in. Of Andre the Giant. Uh, Snake Twisted says, so disappointed Mr. Davis isn't here. I wanted to see if he can name any other Caucasian wrestlers. I think he ran through all of them. Uh, Reese Johnson says, great to see LGBTQ wrapping up Quizzle Mania, ordered my free case of beer from Beer 52. Not made it for this dream, but hopefully here for the Rumble. Hope everyone has a good evening. Come on, the Dat Man. Beat Tempest without looking at the comments. And Big Steve 1983, sorry, Big Steph 1983 says, Hi lads, question for Adam Pearson. I watched your documentary about eugenics on the BBC last week, which was super interesting. I'm currently studying LD nursing at, at uni and was wondering if you were working on anything else along the same lines. Cheers, jam that jam. What an interesting question. Yeah, um, no, nothing else along along the lines of eugenics. I am working on a, a pitch again for BBC4. That's, that's in the area of, of medicine. Obviously, I'm limited in what I can say right now because it's in, in development. But we've got a lot of bits on, on the chessboard. COVID permitting, it would involve travel to the States at, at, at some point as well to see a quite advanced procedure hopefully take place. But again, that's also a, a, a legal thing in, in one of the states in America. But there's a few things happening in, in the background there. I've got a couple of movie projects and a, a scripted comedy thing I'm, I'm working on as, as well. But no, I've got a, quite a uh, hard-hitting medical doc coming up. We'll What's the name there. of it, please, sir? We'll Sorry? What's the name of it, the, the doc that's currently out? Oh, the one that's coming out is Eugenic Science's Greatest Scandal. It's a two-parter. I think it's on iPlayer. If it isn't, Hit me up on on Twitter. I, I've got copies, and I can retransfer it or or something across. Uh, amazing, uh, Andy. Uh, what documentaries are you working on, mate? Oh, so many. Uh, my life as a blimp. <laughs> <laughs> my life as a teenage blimp. I yeah, love that, <laughs> it, it's been. I I always have to wear really heavy. <laughs> I have to wear. That really got me, Tempest. That really got me. I have to wear really <laughs> heavy shoes uh, in in high winds. Otherwise, I'm just off. I go. Right, Andre the Giant. There he is again. Oof! What what a mug. Uh, love to, much love to the man, of course. Uh, so let's go in reverse order. Tempest. Let's start with you. I've gone for nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Andy. I see. I went more because these rubber horrible masks are often sort of quite well made. Weirdly, I went for thirty-five pounds. Ooh, five pounds, Adam Pearson. I I went with somewhere in between. I went for eighteen. Eighteen and Dave. Uh, well, I used an orange pen, and I went for sixteen pound fifty. Sixteen fifty can reveal that this will set you back. 72 pounds oh. 40 pence oh. on wish.com that is five yeah yeah i guess <laughs> <laughs> that's five big boy points to andrew datson very that's very right. well played that's 72 pounds 72 pounds Hitman 3 was 54.99. I was going to say you could buy a copy of hitman 3 and have change in your pocket uh, right next up um, what uh, Tempest? What's the greatest Please. wrestling pay per view of all time? Uh, WrestleMania 17. Or That's X7. right. Super Showdown 2019 <laughs> was the right answer, and now you oh. can commemorate the greatest show on earth uh, with this T-shirt from Witch.com. Uh, I, love, I love the Roman's head is cut <laughs> off there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, you, you just got brawn on your arm, <laughs> <laughs> looking like he's just nibbling on your on your bike. <laughs> and of course, AJ Styles. Um, yes, if you would like to commemorate um, Undertaker versus Goldberg, greatest match in the history of professional wrestling, uh, you too can. But how much would it cost you? Uh, Sora Nord says it's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's Quizzlemania Day. Will Drizzle make his triumphant return or has he escaped the Tempest Academy? Will Adam P's internet turn heel again? And will Tempest retain his title? Hashtag Andy's jam that jam. Uh, Alina Lopez. 
<laughs> says, I thought Andy was handsome, but this Adam guy is giving him a run for his money. It's all right if you come in last place, Andy. I'll make sure you come first tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, right. Andy, uh, what's the inside joke here? So I once... Uh, there's a game called... I don't know what the game is called, but it's like you... like. Uh, Bet, you, you bet that you can name a certain amount of a certain category. And we were at the pub, and I think someone in the group said, oh, I reckon I could name 10 porn stars or something like that. And I said, oh, no, that's not very difficult. I could probably do 20. And then everyone was like, oh, my God, why do you know that? And then I became the resident expert, apparently. And then we, you were doing after, Wrestle Talk After Dark, a great podcast, join our Patreon. And then you were, someone asked you about adult movies, and then you messaged me on discord saying andy we really need your expertise and i was thinking oh this will be about harry potter or something that i, that I really know about and then like right andy th these porn stars i was like oh my God. so then it became the fact that i was somehow an expert in in adult entertainment look andy um, i'm just and saying you have the aura like you you, if you basically if, if, a, if human form you are a a porn mag found in a sodden plastic bag on the railway lines, but in human form. I just that, that's the kind of the aura that you give off, Andrew. Right. Okay. Just... Look, hey, just because number one rated porn star Alina Lopez uh, is is messaging me privately, you don't have to Not get privately, jealous. Publicly. <laughs> 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 right. Super Showdown t-shirts. Let's talk about that instead. Uh, let's, uh, Andy. Uh, <laughs> Let's go with you. Uh, well, because it's got Roman's mouth right on the collar there, uh, nibbling the back of your neck, I've gone for 2169. 2169, Tempest. I have once again gone for 999. 999, uh, Adam Pearson. I've gone for a bang on 21 pounds. And Dave. 12 pounds, 99. £12.99. I am proud to say you've all overshot. <laughs> so oh. we're gonna... <laughs> Wait, what, what was the lowest? Uh, the lowest was 9 So I'm going Christ. to ask you to re <laughs> resubmit your bids while I go over to the Ultra Chats one more time. Remember, click the pinned comment or the link at the top of the description. It's a super professional show we run here at Cubermania. I'm really good at my job and in no way tired. Uh, Zach Robinson says my... Oh, okay. Uh, Zach Robinson says, uh, my grandma sadly passed from COVID last week. I've been struggling to come to terms with it. However, knowing Quizlemania was today helped make this one day that little bit easier. Thanks to all of you for everything you do. Uh, jam that jam, guys. Oh, thank you, Zach. And on our condolences, um, uh, really, um, to be part of anything that helps you through what must be an obviously really tough time. Like we're really glad for that. And thank you so much for, for watching. And we really hope you enjoy the show. Uh, Beth and does word says, hi, all long time watches of wrestle talk PFK, uh, phenomena, 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 nerds, no old bud, uh, et cetera. I wanted to ask if you could wish my boyfriend Reese a happy birthday. He loves you guys, but hates stuff that draws attention to him. So the more fake enthusiasm, the better. So on the count of three, please, everyone scream happy birthday, Reese. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Reese. Birthday, Reese. Marvelous. I got a Reese tattoo on my arm just to celebrate this, as you can see just there. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, stylish. Okay. See, Tempest, that's how quickly a tattoo can be done. <laughs> chop, chop. Uh, he right, doesn't let's... even need £5,000 for it. <laughs> Tempest. He's doing, it. He's doing it for free. Tempest. Tempest, Tempest, Tempest. How much, uh, how much have you bid for the shirt this time? This time? I've gone for three ninety nine. Three ninety nine, dollars 99 Andy. Stop trying to get rid of Reese's uh, birthday present. <laughs> uh, I was just putting rash cream on it. Uh, seven forty nine. Seven forty nine. Oh, Andy, I've gone seven fifty. Seven fifty. Add a Pearson. And uh, bang on seven. Bang on seven. One of you is bang on right. It's only bloody seven quid. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeehaw! That is uh, 10 points to Adam Pearson, the mastermind of Wish.com. Uh, next up, 
Uh, something that I don't hate, but also it's very wish, which is a special once of a kind Undertaker <laughs> uh, belt. Look at the face in the bottom left. Is that how it was displayed? Because that's a horrible way of displaying it. It, no, actually, it was a bunch of different things that I stitched together in a hurry. Right, okay. Uh, but yeah, you've got the main plate. Uh, you've got all of The Undertaker's victims, I guess, on either side. A little tribute to Paul Bear, obviously. That's a classy touch. Uh, and then, look at... Yeah, just look at Undertaker. Look at the, He's got a kind of Andy Datsun-shaped hat <laughs> working out uh, on the left. That's. And he also looks like he's got a melon, a, a, melon, a lemon in his mouth in that picture. <laughs> He does look he's like kind of. He looks like a grumpy nan, doesn't he? he d also, so that so being wished, this isn't real. This isn't a genuine thing. This is someone's made this, uh, presumably a knockoff. Uh, I assume so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, who knows? Uh, maybe this was a. Uh, no, I, I'm pretty sure it's wish. But uh, right, so I'm going to hop into. Does anyone have any questions about the belt before I hop into? Some... Yeah. What What's the uh, metal? Is it pure? Uh, like what's the <laughs> pure oh, gold? Well, almost, almost <laughs> certainly pure thirty-eight it's... carat gold. Um, that looks like, I, I mean, that could be gold painted plastic, copper. Who, who, who the hell knows? It's got a little bit of shine to it. So, uh, I, I, you, honestly, you're Are those getting... sapphires. Uh, no, that's Paul Bearer. That's oh, Paul. okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I like that. Uh, Cyclone says, uh, another day, another Quizzlemania. I say it many times, but I truly am thankful for all the content from the entire Wrestle Talk crew. Thank you all, Andy. Uh, holler it big time for me, lad. Suddenly. I'll if you ask me to do it, I'll do it. Um uh, Adam Blompier's BFF. Oh, my BFF's in the chat. What which wrestlers <laughs> would lift Mjolnir? Uh, I say Undertaker and Sting. So who could lift Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. Mjolnir? Surely, surely Triple H. Oh, I reckon he would. I reckon he would embarrass himself by not being able but to. Lift he it. holds a hammer. I mean, can you imagine if Thor in the movies always had his hand over the end of Mjolnir, <laughs> whacking <laughs> Mjolnir. people with it? That would be so funny. He never gets them in the head anymore. He used <laughs> doesn't anymore. He just gets them in the tummy. Uh, in terms of like people who are pure of heart. Uh, you know what I reckon? Like someone like, hmm, Biggie, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan could uh, lift. He's worthy. Yeah, Mick Foley. Mick, Mick Foley, Foley could, would could balance it on his nose. That's how worthy he is. Mark Henry. Mark Henry is literally the world's <laughs> strongest man. Yeah, he will just move the planet. If the, if, yeah. the, if it doesn't come, he'll just take the earth with it. Uh, right. And John Duarte says it's my favorite way to get through this pandemic. That's all it says, but thank you very, very much for your donation. We appreciate it. Uh, okay, uh, so the the Phenoma Belt, Phenoma Belt, uh, let's start with Dave. How much would you I, pay? I think these belts are quite expensive, aren't they? Uh, I've been to a WrestleMania access thing where they're selling, like the, I know they're legitimate WWE ones, but like still, I've gone $129.95. $129.95, Adam Pearson. I went for 129. <laughs> oh, pipped. Absolutely pipped at the post. Uh, Andy. Well, and uh, I'm worryingly 216.69. 216.69 and Tempest. 99.99. 99.99. Ladies and gentlemen, a two horse race, 289 pounds. Oh, another five points. Oh, Randrew Gatman. Um, <laughs> and finally. Uh, so we uh, finally, 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 this is my favorite thing um, of, of all of them. This is, and I will stress it off the bat, not signed. It's just a photo of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, and what a photo! <laughs> it looks like it looks like it was taken without his consent. As well. I know. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's probably why it's not signed. Is uh, that Jer <laughs> Jeremy Hoganson? <laughs> um look at it he's he's so clearly pissed off he's in the middle of saying please don't take my picture i'm just trying to enjoy five wings for five dollars here at hooters please <laughs> i i deserve my privacy yeah so it's an absolutely not signed photograph of hulk hogan you pay this amount of money and they will just i guess 
send you this photo of Hulk Hogan in the post. <laughs> Imagine having that on your wall. <laughs> is that? Oh wow! Is that a side? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's the sort of thing you might have like next to your mirror in the morning. Go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, I do look good. <laughs> like the Uncle Sam picture. I want you, brother. <laughs> I want you to lend me some money. Uh, uh, my lawsuits are dragging on. Um, right, Brutality. Uh, I'm here nice and early. Hey, Adam, do you think the Jay Uso Reign storyline could end? I think it ends with Uso turning face and maybe winning the belt. Well, uh, I'm not going to kind of give my thoughts because I may be giving my thoughts in a video soonish. Uh, on where I think the next step is for for Jay and Roman, uh, but what do you guys think? Again, I no, wasn't concentrating. No. Oh, for God's no, sake! No. Like I, I, I think he loses it to Kevin Owens at the Rumble, Ooh. and fires Paul Heyman as his advocate and says he's a bad advocate. And then Paul Heyman goes, "Oh, you think I'm a bad advocate? I know someone that would beg to differ with you." Brock Lesnar comes oh, out. And no. And beats the piss out of him. Adam Pearson, if you are suggesting Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania again, <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> I can't do that again. I'm done with that match. Even though right now it's probably the best match they would have because people are actually into these like Roman as a character, but like I can't see it for a third time. I, I think the Miz is gonna swerve everyone and cash in on Roman. Uh, on SmackDown next week, and then it will be Miz against Kevin Owens at, at, at Raw Rumble. Let's find out together, shall we? Uh, right, but first of all, uh, this this uh, this just a photo of Cub Hulk Hogan. Tempest, how much would you pay for this photo? I've got. I wrote down one, <laughs> but then I went for ninety nine pence. <laughs> uh, Andy. Just because it's such an unusual photo, I've I've gone for twenty one sixty nine because I did. <laughs> I think I, I think I think I did that on the last page as well. Yeah, there you go. So I'm I'm, I'm hoping that at this time, oh, yeah, this time it goes well. Twenty one sixty nine, uh, Dave. Uh, I think like three ninety five. It can't be much more than that. Uh, what Ooh. color is that in? I cannot that's, see uh, it. That's, that's pink. Ah. Fair enough. Uh, three ninety-five. Did you say? Yeah, three ninety-five. All right, Adam Pearson. I like Tempest. Wrote something down and then changed my mind. So the first thing I wrote down was Hobbs and Shaw, but I then put one pound. <laughs> ah, the old favourites, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Give you, Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. <laughs> this photo <laughs> costs twenty-six pounds. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I, could you never tell how big it was because it looks like quite a big photo oh I hope it's huge, <laughs> I hope it's huge. Just like, it's a whole door it's like a whole door sticker can you just install it on your ceiling <laughs> oh god Jesus wait <laughs> oh. another day another dollar uh, right HH um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, score as they stand in joint last place with Nil Poir. It's Dave Bradshaw and current Quizzlemania champion Tempest. We're doing great, Dave. Yeah, keep keep on, keep the face, keep the face. In second place with ten points, it's Adam Pearson. And in first place with 15 points, it's Andy Dat. Once again, the lack of trivia. I'm representing Woking for us here, Dave. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the, the important point here is which town is in first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which, which town of, of upbringing? Yeah, right. Precisely. Well, let's see what happens now, because it is time for a little bit of trivia. <gasps> but actually, oh, no. uh, trivia that I think Dave might have the edge on and here's why because this round is a new round and it's called well technically i'm going to give you a wrestling finishing move and you have to tell me 
the technical name oh. of the move. Isn't one of us a trained wrestler? Uh, and 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 also, you know, one of the <laughs> one of the most <laughs> tenured play-by-play commentators <laughs> in British wrestling. Yeah. And, you also run a website on wrestling, Andy. Uh, yeah, and I do. I feel like I might in wrestling here. It should I feel be like mobile. I might be okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, for example, oh, I'm trying to give you an example that isn't going to uh, actually. Terry, I'm not going to give you an example. I'm not going to give you an example. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the. Uh... Oh, actually, no. I'm doing it the other way around. I'm going to give you the technical name for a move, and you have to tell me the actual name of the finisher. Right. So it's, it's slightly um, easier. It's slightly that's easier. easier. Yeah, that's easier. That is easier. Uh, or we could do it. No, no, we'll do it. We'll do it. No, the, uh, please, it please, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give you the technical move, uh, and then you know everyone writes it down, and then I'll go to you one by one. If you get it right, you get three points because obviously loads oh. of people can get multiple questions right. Uh, so there's a ten questions, so a possibility for thirty oh. points. Really okay. close that gap. So we're going to start off with a relative easy one. Uh, we're going to start off with a, there it is, a fireman's carry into a kneeling power slam. To anyone wondering, I'm filming this on my phone, which is why I'm doing this. Oh, actually, <laughs> uh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Ooh. There we go. It is a fireman's carry into a kneeling slam is the correct term. Oh, all right. Okay, that makes it that like... makes more sense. Don't act Don't act it out, Dave. You're giving points away, brother. Uh, right. Uh, Co Connor says, hi, guys. Long time viewer, first time donator. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done these last few months and take care and stay safe. Uh, thank you so much. And donated $30. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Mike Daniels has, uh, says, if you could choose any non-WWE wrestler to make their Royal Rumble debut this year to win it, who would it be and what number would you book them to come in? Uh, Jay White for me and I probably near the end because I don't think you want him to. I, I guess you could do an AJ Styles thing, but AJ Styles has done that thing and I think there are better Iron Men on your roster already. So I would say maybe like 25, bring Jay White in. Although I don't think he's, I don't think he is. I don't want Jay White to be on the main roster. Uh, well, I, I think, well, I, I think he'd be a brilliant main roster heel. He's got such a good character. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, uh, Fireman's Carry into Kneeling Slam. Do we all have an answer? Yes. yes. Magic. All right. So I'm going to go one at a time. Let's start with Tempest this time. Tempest. What is... The wrestling name uh, for a fireman's carry into a kneeling slam. Uh, that would be the attitude adjustment or the FU for the old school fans. Andy. Attitude adjustment. Dave. Boom. Attitude adjustment. Adam Pearson. Attitude adjustment, baby. Boom. That's three points across the board. Threes, threes threes across the board you love to see it all right so uh next up what is this a tiger faint kick what is a tiger faint kick uh daltanian says happy quizzlemania all good luck to everyone and let's have a great game for tempest to win uh <laughs> chris Havercamp says recently just got over coronavirus and hope to stay away again uh hope you're all staying safe and healthy love the quiz watch every fortnight my question is will you ever get a member of osw on the show love to the channel thanks guys uh, anytime osw are free they are more than welcome on the show but they those guys are full-time workers like those guys work so so hard uh jay hunter especially man like those guys uh, we don't. <laughs> well, no, we're, we're free every Wednesday. Uh, the Raven seventy nine says, Adam, I've got to say that there are times when your smile, when your smile has that delightfully crazed look that Tim Curry has when he's doing some evil, awesome stuff. I too wish that I could smile and make the light appear above my head, a la Home Alone too. Uh, or should I say, stolen credit card? Uh, anyway, uh, Tiger faint kick. Uh, let's go the opposite direction this time around. So. Adam Pearson, what's the Tiger Faint Kick, mate? I'm hoping it's the Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Dave Bradshaw? Uh, I know that Sweet Chin Music is a super kick, but I wondered whether it's got like two names. Sweet Chin Music. Andy? Uh, Io Shirai does a version of this, but I believe 
It is the 619. Uh, Tempest? That would be the 619. Booyaka, booyaka. It's the 619. It's technically a tiger faint kick. Very good. Three points, Randy. Three points to Tempest. Next up, number three, jumping reverse bulldog. What is a jumping reverse? Where would the head land? Jack Archer says, just dropping by to oh. say Hitman and three is absolutely amazing and we're enjoying it so much right now. I swear I've never I never wanted to not be doing Quizlemania more. <laughs> Seriously, though, thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate that. Uh, 3,000 people watching during Inauguration Day. That's a sensational. All sad. I can't tell. Much love to you all. Go Tempest. Jorge Martinez says, any match at that on paper should have been great, but just didn't click. For me, it's AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Recently rewatched Royal Rumble 2016 and their hockey fight spot was awesome but their match never clicked interested to hear your thoughts speaking of i i, I hate to say it aj's had a few of those mm -hmm. and I, I i don't i don't think that's aj's fault i just think for some reason during his long 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 title run they just booked like the worst finishes to all of his matches like aj versus samoa joe should have been brilliant. AJ versus Nakamura should have been brilliant. AJ versus Kevin Owens. Like, but all of the Shane McMahon, double kick to the nuts, Wendy, like all of that stuff, like it just gets in the way. Uh, yeah. Anything for you guys, that, like a dream match on paper, but uh, underwhelmed when it happened? I would say Styles and Nakamura from WrestleMania. I was so yeah. disappointed by that match. Like people like to say like, oh, people's expectations were just high. Like I disagree. The match under delivered. But it's okay for expectations to be high when it's AJ Styles against Shinsuke Nakamura. And then you're like, oh, well, you, you thought it was going to be good. Why did you think that? Like, well, of course we're going to think that. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, whatever. All righty, Rue. What is the jumping reverse bulldog? Uh, Tempest. This one's definitely the hardest one so far, but I've gone with the zigzag. The zigzag. Andy. Yeah, I, it was the jumping thing that got me. Mm -hmm. Zigzag. Zigzag. Dave? I wondered whether it might be the sliced bread. Sliced bread? Mm -hmm. uh, is that number one or number two? Number <laughs> two. <laughs> and Adam Pearson? I, I went with the, the, uh, the curtain call. Ah, the curtain call. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Um, sliced bread number two makes a whole bunch of sense. But it is the zigzag. Oh, is... Adam, don't do that to me. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, don't like... Get used to it, Dave. Dave, you're right. it, is, it should be slice bread number two, a jumping yeah. reverse bulldog. That's what it uh -huh. is. But no, uh, technically the zigzag is called a jumping reverse bulldog. Uh, right, next up. Uh, what is a cradle, a cradle belly to back inverted mat slam? God. That's a lot of words. What is a cradle? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to act out in my head. Yeah. Say a cr cradle. Belly to back. Belly to back. Mat slam. Uh, Ran Drew Limburg has been enjoying democracy. Get a shot in the arm today, USA. But left to watch you guys. <laughs> thank, thank you. I mean, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take down the Canadian. We got our swagger back, <laughs> USA. <laughs> USA. Probably too soon for that. Love you guys. Misha Sumra says, my heart says Adam Pearson. My head says Tempest to retain. In better news, Quizlemania 26 and POTUS 46. My Beer 52 arrived today to celebrate. The only WWE Hall of Famer, more racist than Hulk Hogan, is gone. Hashtag na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. And Jesse Venable says, watching the Good Brothers roast Mr. Davies using English accents. How many rounds are there, kind sir? Kills me to this day, even more than the third Uso. Although seeing smooth Adam's face after you remove his shades is up there for me. <laughs> Love, WT and PFK. Righto. Um, let's start with... Uh, do we all have answers, first of all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marvellous. Well, Adam Pearson, why don't you start us on a wonderful journey of self-discovery i put the one-winged angel one-winged angel dave i might be getting am i getting my moves wrong what's the shameless one where you get someone on their back and then white he... noise yeah oh 
Boom, I got it right. I was worried I was going to make a fool of myself, but white noise. White noise. Andy. I, I Originally, I had written down the Stars Clash, but then I changed my mind because I don't think that's a cradle. I changed it to the Neutralizer. Neutralizer. Tempest? Uh, see, I was choosing between the Neutralizer and the Styles Clash, and I went with the Styles Clash. Ah. Um, can you say Neutralizer in five languages? It is indeed the Neutralizer, because the cradle is when he does that. Yeah, that's why I thought. That's why I was, people probably saw me miming it. I was like... It's like that, and then you twist them over, and I was like, who does that? <laughs> it is the neutralizer. I can confirm that an inverted, a belly-to-back mat slam is the Styles Clash, but Cradle uh, is the neutralizer. Doesn't matter. Both moves look like shit. <laughs> uh, that, I, I, that is one of my, I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I hate the Styles Clash, not just because it's dangerous. I think it looks like ass. I Don't get me wrong, the one he did on Raw was amazing. Yeah, I was uh, going to say, that one this week was something else. But that's, yeah. the, that's the transition into the movie. Yeah, like, he, I, he sets it up well a lot. Um, but yeah, the neutralizer, it just kind of looks like you're falling from quite a short distance to the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, next up, Double wrist lock into inverted double underhook face buster. Face yeah, I know, I know this one. Double wrist lock into inverted double underhook face buster. Uh, Volantis Moon says, who has the best and worst entrance themes? And why is it Edge and John Morrison, respectively? Wait, you don't like John Morrison's entrance theme? No, listen. Um, who has this the best? This ain't no make believe. Come on. <laughs> Open uh, your eyes and see. No, it's Brie Bella. Brie Bella has the worst theme of all time. Uh, I, I actually looked up the lyrics to Brie Bella's uh, earlier, and uh, it is just Brie Mo be 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 Beautiful be 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 for just the whole time. There's, oh, there are like three words in it. Um, best I struggle. Like I, It makes me sound basic, but it's Edge, isn't it? It is Edge. Edge. Yeah, yeah. It's Edge. No, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I like Bobby Roode's is the best music. That, I mean, it's an absolute banger. It's absolute banger. Like singing it live, don't get me wrong. Like et, like live, I think as as a bit of crowd theatre, Glorious is well. Mm -hmm. Canadians get the best music. It's true. Um Ooh, under it is true. The sky. Are you ready for this? Um, Lake Host, you said, let's all be glad Trump got awesome bombed, never to be seen again. Also, what's everyone's favorite? Who's everyone's favorite for the Rumble? I think Daniel Bryan's going to win it. Yeah, I'd say Daniel Bryan. Anyone else? I, I think Big E. I think Big E. Yeah, I think Big E. I thought that I for a while. So. I hope Big E. That would be an amazing shout, but I got a feeling they're just going to put him in an IC title match with Apollo Crews. I reckon that's what they'll do. But uh, yeah, I would love to see that push actually happen. That would be great. Uh, right, a double wrist lock into an inverted double unhook face buster. Tempest, what's that? That, my good sir, is the kill switch slash unprettier. Andy. Oh, is it? I went for pedigree. Uh, Dave. Yeah, see it. I think a double under face buster is just a pedigree, but mm -hmm. work out how you would double wrist lock into an inverted. So I just put pedigree. And Adam Pearson. I was torn between pedigree and, and um, uh, Christian Daniels, Angel's Wings, and I went with pedigree. Ah, uh, so a pedigree is a double underhook face buster, a double wrist lock into an inverted double underhook face buster is the kill switch. Slash Such a bad move. I'm prettier. Slash I'm prettier. So that's three points to Tempest. All right. Next up. What is a sit-out three-quarter face lock jawbreaker? Big Jack Spate Baby says... Oh, and it's given us $40. Thank you very much. It's Quizlemania, baby. Uh, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you from WrestleTalk. I've been watching you forever, and unfortunately, my dad passed last year. I always look to you guys, and not once did you ever disappoint. Love you all. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, much love to you, Big Jack. Thank you so much for being so generous. Uh, really sorry to hear that uh, about your dad. Uh, AJ uh, Phoebe434 says, Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Apple Quizlemania Day. Adam, I'd love for you to give a special birthday shout out to my nephew logan who is three today good luck all and stay safe hashtag where's luke uh 
Logan, have a bloody... <laughs> Sorry. Why am I swearing? <laughs> have a fucking great day, Logan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Take three. Take three. This is the one you can show him. Logan, have a wonderful birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday, mate. Good on Ooh. you. Right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, do we all have an answer for a sit-out three-quarter face lock jawbreaker? Yeah. Oh, yes. Marvelous. Uh, let's go with Adam Pearson. I I'm, I know this is wrong. I'm focusing heavily on on the jawbreaker. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Dave. The the three-quarter face lock is this where you get the head there. So I think that and just sitting down with it makes it a. a and called Stunner, doesn't it? And called Stunner, Andy. Yeah, I was just going to say the only fa the only face buster or whatever it was, jawbreaker. Sorry, that can be sitting down. Surely, is a, a Stunner. Tempest. I had my thing kind of messed up in my head. I originally thought it was the Widow's Peak from uh, Victoria, but then I changed it and wrote Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold Stunner. Correct answer. A stone cold stunner. Very, very good. Uh, so three points to Dave, three points to Andy, three points to Tempest. It is indeed the stone cold stunner. Uh, next up, I am going to get shouted at for getting the pronunciation of this wrong, but a Gogo Plata? That's it. Gogo Plata. Uh, David Matushik says, Hello, sexy puppies. I just wanted to say hello and say how much of a great job you've been doing lately, especially last week for charity. Oh, thank you very much. I can't wait to see what comes next. Jam that sexy, plumpy jam too much. Never enough. Thank you so much, Jam that jam. David, Andy Max says, Tempest is wise beyond his years, but Adam, does he know what Nuki Brown and Bovril are? Well, that's a good question. Do you know what Nuki Brown is? Not a clue. It's when you said that earlier, I was like, Adam, you have realized you have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's Newcastle Brown Ale. Come on, son. Yes, because I would know what that is. <sighs> Look, uh, Listen, when this is over, we will all go and get Bevs. And I will <laughs> yeah, find Adam, out. Adam, what? buy oh, him a new okay. brown ale. <laughs> Excuse me. Can, is, has anyone seen any Bevs? Go, uh, <laughs> go to that go to that draft uh, draft place next to that kind of like craft beer place next to our, uh, our office and ask for a Newcastle brown ale and see what they do. <laughs> and what do you think a Bovril is? Come on, you must have Bovril. I have no idea. Take a guess. What's Bovril? You're just saying gibberish to me. I don't know. It, it, imagine if imagine if a cow was a drink that isn't milk. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it, it's it's meat tea, basically. <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's, like re, it's like it's like drinking really thin gravy. <laughs> yeah, let me have like that. Strong my... thin gravy. Let me have that as my side uh, drink while I eat my haggis. Haggis. Have you had the haggis? Tempest. Why don't you start us off? What's the Goga Plata? Uh, the Goga Plata is the Hell's Gate. Andy. Gonna say, luckily, I do watch UFC as well, and I think I, I put the Undertaker's thing, and then I realized it was called the Hell's Gate. Dave. Uh, I'm going to embarrass myself. I... I thought it was the yes lock but obviously it, i am uh, now thinking it is indeed the hellscape adam pearson oh well dave you're welcome my friend i put frog slash <laughs> <laughs> hey can, it's got pla can yeah. confirm uh dave you're so close i think it's the like on oh, not platter. Omniplot or something like that. That yeah. is the that is the yes lock. The Goku Plot is indeed Hell Gate. Uh the Shin uh based uh triangle choke. Uh that is three points to Andy, three points to Tempest. Uh okay. Uh we are on to number eight, only three left. A full forward elevated side slam. What is a full forward elevated side slam? Uh, X Red X says today is my birthday and the first one without my dad who died last July. Today has been uh, untold amounts of depressing, but knowing there was a quizzle mania has honestly helped me to get through the day. So thank you. Remember, if you love someone, tell them. That's, uh, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic uh, advice. And yeah, we're very sorry to hear. Um, special occasions, especially the, for the first time without a loved one, are, are really tricky, but. Um, uh, 
happy birthday first of all and uh, thank you so much for spending it with us we hope it uh, it makes the day a little a little less tough uh thank you so much red uh jake Wa uh, waterworth says good morning from australia my first chance to watch live adam i need a pdf of a timeline of the adams booking universe i need to see full cards also love all of today's guests would love to see lolo brow on quizlemania absolutely uh, let's go adam pearson i think the closest i've got to an acu is or the bcu i'm not sure uh, is uh, my wrestlemania 35 booking because like all of my kind of last five i think have kind of converged around wrestlemania 35 hell of a card if i do say so myself uh right uh adam pearson let's start with you please what have you got for me i put the world's strongest slam world's strongest slam dave yeah i put the same although I keep thinking a side slam. I'm thinking like a sidewalk slam, but I don't know what a, a full forward sidewalk slam would look like. So, world's strongest slam. Andy, uh, I realised that I've written something that's stupid, but I think it's the same move. I wrote the book end, but isn't that also the the rock bottom? Yeah, book ends are yeah rock bottom. Yeah, tempest. See, I was thinking that, but the book end and rock rock bottom is just called a uranagi. So I don't know if that's like the technical term for it, but I also wrote World's Strongest Slam. World's Strongest Slam. Andy, once again, my son, it is a rock bottom forward slash oh, wow. book end. The uh, Becky Lynch one was the best. There we go. Uh, An Uranagi is another way of putting it, but uh, when, I, when I looked it up in... Uh, wrestling glossary, uh, elevated uh, side slam, full forward side slam, was... Uh, the wordiest way of putting it. Yeah, I just thought to the side and you're falling forwards. I was like, I was, I almost did the, um, what's it called? The end of days, because that's basically that, but in reverse. An inverted, it's, it's, yeah, I guess, I guess so. It's, uh, it's like rock botting on yourself. Number nine, a front face lock into three quarters face lock cutter. I mean, come uh, on, I know that one. surely. Yeah. Joe Alexander says, thanks for all the weeks uh, helping me get through this pandemic. Also, Pearson, that Pearson. Uh, Adam Blompier is my father, uh, says, hi, everyone. Who do you have winning the Royal Rumble? I, I believe we said earlier, but Daniel Bryan for me. Uh, we've got some biggie uh, stands. Uh, Who do you think's winning the Women's Royal Rumble? Let's not. Rhea, let's Rhea Ripley. Say one. Very Rhea nice. Ripley is who I think. Well, who I, is who I hope. Uh, I don't think this really makes much sense for either. Uh, could give it to Alexa bliss and sort of like pay off that but i don't know i'd I'm, like to see Rhea versus it, too. bianca Bella, i'd give it to that's a very good shout as well i uh, could see Dave, bailey winning yeah I can, ugh, this, this, bailey's really gone off the boil and not not no fault of her own but just hey i don't know if you saw last week's smackdown but the ding dong show that she did that was great he's amazing Oh, I, actually so have, I actually haven't seen that, to be fair. Um, Dave, who have you got for the Women's Rumble? Uh, I think Rhea Ripley as well. I think that's a pretty good shout. I'd like that as well. I think she deserves it at this point. Uh, right. Uh, so, front face lock into three quarters face lock cutter. Uh, Adam Pearson, start with you. What have you got for me? I, I put the, uh, the diamond cutter. The diamond cutter. Dave? Same thing. RKO. RKO. Andy? Uh, the one time that Cena hit the RKO. And Tempest. That's the twist of fate. You are oh, no. correct, Tempest. It's the twist of fate. Oh. Oh, well, same thing. Oh. Into a cutter. I'm not giving RKO. Now I feel like a butt. Come on. I'm not, <laughs> no, no, I'm I not think giving that's fair. you the RKO for that. I'm sorry. Front face lock. Front in face lock. Uh, and oh, now I look like a right knob for writing that stuff. And finally, elevated Boston Crab uh, with knee. <laughs> with knee. Uh, Lady Z says, you guys are amazing. Uh, Quiz or Mania is our current favorite thing. Uh, jam that jam. Uh, thank you for this. <laughs> uh, so I've had, a, I've had a note from our mod saying that the next... Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's inappropriate, isn't no, it? I've, I've had a note from the mod saying this one's dangerous. I actually know what this is. This is, uh, it's from Auntie Donna. It's, um, he says, Jared Zimmerman says, sing this. I'm a bikey man from a bikey gang, living in me crack dead, making crack. Uh, I love <laughs> uh, I, I, 
<laughs> it's an Auntie Donna sketch. Uh, it's very, it's a very, very funny sketch about. Um, yeah, it's it's it's, a, it's like a if CBBS did uh, Australian gangs. Uh, so I understand the mods wanting to give me a shout out that that's not suitable for broadcast. <laughs> it is a comedy sketch reference. Um, otherwise, I would have been very shook. Um, yeah, the full the full lyrics are. <laughs> Okay, the, the views expressed here and are not the views expressed of <laughs> of um, Quizlemania. But I'm a bikey man from a bikey gang, living in me crack den, making crack. I love killing, thieving, and extortion. Give me twenty dollars, I'll give you an abortion. I love cocaine <laughs> and selling it to kids. <laughs> for an ounce, and my dad used to fuck me rickety tea. That is the, the official name of that <laughs> rickety tea. I love that. <laughs> anyway, wasn't that on the tweenies originally? <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> that really got me I was, not, I was not expecting that reference to come through uh, Tempest, hello son uh, Elevated Boston Crab with me please I know what you're trying to do here Adam this is the Lion Tamer Andy Lion Tamer Dave uh, it's, I put Wolves Jericho but it's the same thing and Adam Pearson it is not the same damn thing, James. Otherwise, I'd have written it. I wrote Lion Tamer. Well, hey! He, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. He did it with the... In his early days in WWF, when it was still WWF, he did it with the knee and called it the Walls of Jericho. And also, I'm you didn't... Happy, I, I'm didn't happy to give it to him. So, which, we, which was essentially correct. I, Dave. Come on, Adam. Adam. Dave. Adam, out of everyone here... Who have you known the longest? Well, that, well, that's true, Dave. Yeah, you, come on. That's true, can I? We, we go away. Can I raise, can I raise knowing you the longest and offer you seeing Scarlett Johansson naked if we're playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> when you say offer, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like she's. That sounds no, like she's no, just no, out no. of out of shot. That is, that is not that is not what I'm doing. That is absolutely not is she, what I'm doing. Is she in your front room, Adam? Don't get me wrong, Adam. That is a hell of a flex right there. <laughs> <laughs> Between seeing ScarJo in, in, in the nip and knowing me for a long time, I think I know which I'd rather have. But Whose uh, nips are those? Dave, I am going to... <laughs> See, Andy, this is why everyone thinks you're the porn guy. <laughs> <laughs> you'll just mumble little sexual comments like that. Aren't you? <laughs> that wasn't a mumble. You Genuinely, you look like you should, you should have a pint in your hand at all times. And also commentating the cricket. You, <laughs> you, are, you are who you are. Do um, like cricket. Anyway, just trying to dig myself out of this hole. Uh, Dave, I, I can't give it to you. Adam... Dave, it's a lion tamer. I'm, I'm so disappointed in you. I, I'm disappointed in yeah. me too. Um, the scores as they stand. Proud of you, Adam. You could have opened Pandora's box right there, Tempest. but you chose not to. You're going down the path of the demon. You hate to see it. <laughs> right. uh, in last place with six points is Dave Bradshaw. Well, that's why. In third place with 16, it's Adam Pearson. In second place with 24, it's Tempest. In first place with fifth, with 39 points, it's Andy Datsun. I thought you were going to say 50. I was like, what? I, 39 <laughs> points has Andrew Datsun. That's too many points for Andrew Datsun. Mate, honestly, if it turns to proper trivia, like actual questions about things, then I won't know them. That was trivia. <laughs> no, but all I, all I had to do there was act that out, and I could sort of figure it out in my head. All right. Point is, this is now uh, an, a an old a new take on an old classic. This is Name That Jam. Oh, dear. oh no! As every time Name That Jam comes up, we come up with a different way of doing it. So the way we're doing it now, sort of a little bit like charades, a little bit like karaoke. Uh, what I'm going to do is, it's going to be you're each going to have two turns. Oh God! Everyone's going to close their eyes. And then I'm going to, when it's your turn, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and it will, sh it will say the name of a superstar or a wrestler and also uh, a phrase. You then have to sing that wrestler's theme tune using only the words in that. 
Nice. Right. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? And then Adam, uh, how did you come up with this? I have no idea, mate. <laughs> um <laughs> shower inspiration i don't know if you're asking me that because this is a famous round in like another quiz but generally i, I no it's not i this, <laughs> okay. is, this, this is new to me so this is basically you've all got a buzzer and your buzzer is your name could you all please test your buzzers in three two one hey, thank you very good always great is there, no, is there no teams for this one or is no it just... teams it's basically so wait, basically one of you is going to start singing a, th a restless theme song using only a phrase over and over and over and over again um the first person to buzz in and correctly guess the um the theme music will get three points and the person singing it will also get three points right if everyone if you get it wrong you can't guess again and if everyone gets it wrong then no one gets any points simple Okay, uh, so then we're going to start with Andy, because you have humiliated yourself musically the most recently. Okay, so it better uh, be Kelly Kelly. So we close our eyes. <laughs> Everyone, please close your eyes. Andy, you're going to have a wrestler and a phrase. Right. Uh, they, have they, all these songs got lyrics, or are they? Am I just asking the tune? You're going to have to sing the tune with this phrase. Sing the theme tune. Oh my god, right, can I write that down on my You can absolutely write it down, yeah. Uh, so everyone keep your eyes closed, please. Why is that a why is that a thing? All right. Uh, no, uh don't, don't look yet, don't look yet. Have you have you written it down? Right, yes. Okay, okay. Let's see if this works. I have no idea <laughs> if this will work. Um everyone, you can open your eyes. And oh, remember he's changed his music. The first one to buzz Ooh, in. Perfectly. I will say, I will say any recognizable theme song is fine, as long as they can guess the right. rest. Right, okay. Because, uh, right, so uh, the first person to buzz in with their name and then correctly guess it. All right. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't know how to do this. Right, okay. Take it away. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bird's eye, crispy pancake! I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, Adam Pearson. Seth Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amazing. Awesome. <laughs> oh it, it helped that it's got burr at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I got it. <laughs> oh no. All right, very good. <laughs> my oh, neighbours, my neighbours are so confused right now. <laughs> All right. What I worry now is because I got that. I worry I've given this round more actual validity. Than <laughs> um, yes, you have. Tempest. <sighs> uh, man in second place, it's your turn. Everyone, please look away. All right, Tempest. <laughs> if you want to write this phrase down, you can. Okay, give me one sec. I, I shouldn't be as pleased with myself as I am. Uh, is that as weird as they get? Uh, no comment. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't look, anyone. Okay. Okay. Everyone can now look. Uh, Tempest, uh, when you're ready, my friend, <clears throat> uh, the floor is yours. All righty. <clears throat> Does this look infected? Adam the Remy! Oh, yeah, that's Adam. <laughs> Adam Pearson. No, that's, that's The Rock. That is The Rock. Very <laughs> what, was it, what was the phrase? What was the whole phrase? Does this look infected to you? Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Isn't that a uh, Sean 41 album? <laughs> uh, this, oh, this is going to be an entire album of Sean 41. Track. <laughs> uh, right. Um, now third place. Uh, Adam Pearson, this is for you. Everyone else, please look away. I'm terrified. If you want to write that phrase down so you don't forget it, you absolutely may. No, I say this all the time to people on the phone. All right. Um, are you uh, everyone can look? And <laughs> Adam, the floor is yours. Oh, god, no, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Um, <laughs> terms and conditions apply. Tempest. 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 Steve Austin. 
Yes, that's Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Terms and, that's a, I like that one. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> apply. Uh, right. Uh, Dave, this is for you. Yes. Everyone, please look away. That's for you. Okay. All right. Do you need to write that phrase down? Oh, I, uh, no. I, sorry. I saw that. I'll, I'll count myself out of this round. I thought that you'd finished. I don't, I don't, I don't count in this one. You certainly don't, Andy. All right, uh, Dave, when you are ready. Okay, ready? Okay, you can all look again. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Big. Adam. Oh, <laughs> oh Adam, what's your guess? Um, well, what else? What else starts with just a single solitary starting note? That's, that's a gong, I believe. I think it's The Undertaker. Are you fucking what? kidding me, Adam Pearson? Adam, you are so good at this. Adam <laughs> uh, I'm I'm just annoyed that the entire expression didn't get to come out. <laughs> yeah, what, 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 was was the, what, what was the whole phrase? I feel like I'm it, I don't know what does it mean. Out of big fungus. Big <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite internet things. It's just like it. it you, Is you, that you, a cat? You can apply big chungus to many things, but I, I believe it's a chunky Photoshop of a cat. Well, put it put it in a sentence. Big chungus. It's just it's not just a it's just a meme. Okay, it's not like a phrase. No. Uh, if you, everyone Google big oh god, I really hope it's not something terrible. Let me just Google big chungus before I send people out to uh before I send people out to look for it. You don't like say if something like if you like something, you don't say, Oh, that <laughs> big chungus. <laughs> you should be able to now. Yeah. Big that big, that <laughs> adds with big chungus. <laughs> big chungus is a photoshopped picture of Bugs Bunny, or rather a bug, a picture of a really fat Bugs Bunny is officially called Big Chungus. Nice. Delightful stuff. All right, so here we go again. You're um, going to give me a hard one because of my accidental... Certainly. Well, we, we are going to do it one more time each, so uh, everyone please look away. I will say, you may oh, look me. now. Uh, yeah, when sorry, I, I just heard you can write that down, and I just like, okay, and then I looked, yeah. All right, Andy, this is for you. Oh God! All right, uh, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I've forgotten how his music goes for a second. Um... You're sort of giving clues there, Andy. I now know it's not Dana Brooke. You, <laughs> you could. Sorry, him, by the way. Uh, how? How am I going to do this? Right, I'm so sorry. Uh, No, I genuinely can only remember one bit of his... I've, I've had a complete mind for... Anyway, right, okay. Find it in the moment, Andy. Play in the space. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> Tinky Winky! Keep going. Tinky Keep Winky! Going. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is it that one? No, it's not. <laughs> tinky winky, tinky winky, tinky winky, tinky tinky winky, tinky winky, tinky winky. Oh. It's not that one, is it? Someone, someone buzzed in. Yeah, Tempest. Tempest. That I don't know what the stuff at the beginning was, but that sounded like Finn Balor. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. I was worried. I was doing that in my head and then going burn it down. I was like, no, but it can't be Seth Rollins. Yeah. So I was going the tinky winky. <laughs> Stop it. Tinky winky. Help <laughs> us. <laughs> Thank you, Tempest. Oh. Three points. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, game face. Uh, Tempest, this is for you. Everyone look away. I'll tell you when you can look. Uh, Tempest. Oh, sorry. Maybe it's All right. Everyone look away. Okay. <sighs> All right, everyone can look. Uh, what's yours, champ? <clears throat> this is not how these words sound. <laughs> um, lovely lad, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lovely lad. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lovely Adam. lad. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you, oh, mate. I, I, what could be worse than the original? Now we know. Um, it's, that's Brie Bella, isn't it? It's Brie Bella. Very oh, good. Wow. Oh, of course it's Brie Bella. I was trying to figure out... I was even looking at her thing earlier today. Like, I, I none of these that. words I sound like Brie Bella. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Adam Pearson, this is for you. Good. Everyone else, please. Anyway. Adam, you must be really gaining some ground here. Uh, Adam is storming right now. Uh, I, right I, I, I'm, I'm not proud of how I'm doing in this round. <laughs> really dumb. Okay. You might have to write. Do you need to write that title down? No, no. <laughs> Guernsey, uh, Guernsey Literary and Potato Pie Society. Sweet. <laughs> Cool. Uh, technically, Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. Thank you. But, okay. uh, <laughs> it's a film about the Channel Islands. I feel very, very, very uh, uh, passionate about that. Everyone can look now, by the way. Uh, Adam, when, you, when you're ready, floor's yours. Okay. Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel. Guernsey Literary well, and Potato Peel. <laughs> yes, Andy. Uh, I believe that is the cult of Guernsey. <laughs> CM Punk. Uh, amazing. I can't believe you got that from that. That's insane. No, but it was the. But I didn't get to do Jersey Literary. And Tyson I had a whole thing. Like, what's up? I had a dance routine and everything. Beautiful. It would be like see a film, but with an actual disabled actor in it. It would have been amazing. <laughs> uh, Dave Bradshaw. Uh, Ready. Close, close us out. Close us out, I buddy. Believe, I can't believe oh. more people haven't guessed wrong in this game. All right, Andy, look away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everyone can look. Uh, Dave. Smash it. Right. Bruce Pritchard, Bruce Pritchard lives in Adam, Adam. Whoa. Uh, I, I, that ooh. was Adam. I, I heard Adam first. Just ahead. Sorry, Adam. Tempest. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Adam, this round worked perfectly. How, who would have thought it? Adam, how are you? Oh, my God. You are. You are amazing at this. That yeah. was indeed, uh, that was indeed Ray Mysterio uh, with the lyrics of Bruce Pritchard lives in a van. Uh, very, very, very good. Uh, the scores as they stand. In last place with 12, uh, Dave Bradshaw. In third place with 36, it's Tempest. <laughs> In second place with 37, it's Adam Pierce. In first place with 48, it's Andy. So, as we move into our last round, that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because the last round is, of course, mm -hmm. that's my no! game. Oh, Right, uh, can I quickly go for a P, Adam? You can absolutely go please, for a P, Andy. Please, sir. It's been fun, champs. Uh, I've enjoyed being the Quizlemania champion. I was looking to set the records for longest reign and most defenses, but that's not happening now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. I'm not going to lie, Tempest. I I, th I thought this would get you. <laughs> this this particular <laughs> Quizlemania was, was the golden bullet <laughs> that it would be needed. Uh, I'm just going to hop over to I'm going to hop over to some ultra chats. Jobber JJ four nine six says hello everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome Dave to the madness. Hashtag Pearson that Pearson. Tempest can never turn heel to me. He's so kind and answering my New Japan questions. Datsun is a national treasure. K Danielle one two three says it's my birthday Saturday and I'm pulling on. I'm putting on a sort of quiz show like this for my friends, all virtual of course. Ooh. Wish everyone the best. Jam that jam. Well, hope you have a very happy birthday on Saturday. Jam that jam. James Fier says hello dave is that dave is dave there i've got some pe oh, i've got some pegs belonging to you it's a league of gentlemen reference Lead uh yes it is uh, hello dave loving the show lads hope you all are doing well despite the event do not think about the event 
Oh, a number wang reference. This is sketch comedy popping up. <laughs> Question from Mr. Bradshaw. What was your favorite WCPW moment to call live? Ooh, um, probably uh, Kurt Angle and Cody Rhodes. I was going to say his Angle. Main event, yeah. Was that but true? Huge, place, huge true legacy. Legacy, yeah. Legacy. legacy. Kurt and Cody, see, clever. Yeah, <laughs> the branding, it was so... Uh, yeah. get it. Uh, Marcus, love the show. Uh, wondering, uh, Adam, for a booking video to be either Finn's Universal title reign or Asuka from the 2017 Rumble to 2018. Get rid of Charlotte. Uh, and finally, Gene K0120 says, Hey, guys, today's my 24th birthday. First time doing an Ultra Chat. Thank you so much. Can I get a happy birthday from all of you? Will really make my day. Love the show. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag FTF. Hashtag Team Tempest. Hashtag Roman is the best. I tell you what, let's get a happy birthday one by one this time. Tempest. Who is this addressed to before I do it quickly? <laughs> you, you fucking diva, Tempest. Uh, Gene. <laughs> happy birthday, G. Adam Pearson. Thank you for being on Team Tempest. Uh, happy birthday, Gene. Hope you have an amazing 24th. And don't forget, have fun, be merry, stay safe, and above all else, Pearson that Pearson. Uh, Andy Datsun. Happy birthday, Gene. You share your name with my great aunt. And Dave. I had a great aunt called Jean as well. Uh, happy birthday, Jean. Uh, it must Are be we, a thing. Woking thing, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, happy is is yours slightly racist? Yeah, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, All great on. aunts are, aren't they? Like, uh, happy, uh, um, I think, Adam, you should put Jean in touch with Reese, whose birthday it is today as well, because they might want to be like birthday buddies. Oh, birthday Join buddies. Party. Yeah. I have to say, I am sort of getting an Elseworlds vibe from you guys. You're both wearing the dark coloured shirt. You... Yeah. Same hair. Just, it feels yeah. like an episode of Long Lost Family. We're, we're both, we're both <laughs> sitting in our <laughs> kitchen. I'm, I'm half yeah. expecting Davina McCall to walk out and for everyone to start <laughs> crying. I will say, I think Dave does have a better quality of kitchen, Andy. Because yeah. you, you have refused to take down <laughs> No, no, no. Bag. I put it back up. Are you, what you didn't notice is that it wasn't there when you introduced me, and then I put it up just as a little Easter egg for my fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for your little fandies. All right. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, yes. Uh, that's my line. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go from last place to first. Um, that's my line is 20 questions. Uh, so, you start with 20 points which is enough to make the difference. Uh, 20 points. Uh, and you are, uh, I've assigned you uh, a wrestler. Uh, maybe WWE, maybe not, maybe male, maybe female, who knows? Uh, you have to work out who that wrestler is by asking me yes or no questions. For every yes or no question you ask, which is not a correct guess, I will subtract one point from your score. So obviously once you've asked 20 questions, you haven't got it, you have nil point. And your turn is over. If you get it right the first go, that's 20 points. All the difference. Um, I am going to, so I'm going to start with uh, Dave. Then I'm going to go to uh, Tempest. Then uh, Adam. Then Andy. Can, Adam, can you remind me the, so the difference between me and first place right now? Point. It's 36. Okay, so I need essentially... Two twenties, and I need everyone else to get there. It's completely wrong. Um, no, no, no. You you only get one chance of getting. You only get one go. <laughs> oh, we only so, get one go. Dave, yeah. the important thing is you've had a bloody good time. Is That's... it is it normal for someone on their debut to do this badly? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. genuinely, <laughs> genuinely. Yeah, have you ever met? Ollie? I, I I I was I lost to Ollie on my debut. I was pretty shit. Okay, Adam, Pe nice. Adam Pearson, uh, Adam Pearson, if you are beating me when it comes to my round, uh, and you're ahead of Tempest, I'll just, I'll throw it. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just. You fight. You all fight to the end. I want to see none of this. Right. Uh, so we're going to start with you, uh, Dave Bradshaw. Uh, so I am going to roll a dice to determine which of the six wrestlers I've pre-prepared you're going to get. Actually, no. Tell you what. Fuck the dice. Uh, give me a number between one and six, Dave. You maverick. Uh, let's go two. Two. You're lucky Pete's not here when you said that. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, I am uh, almost ready. Let me just get up your score tracker. Boom. You have 20 points. Dave, I am ready when you are. Oh, wait, so I, if, I get a, if I ask a question and the answer is no, I lose a point. So you uh, ask me yes or no questions. Try and work it. I've assigned you a wrestler. Yeah, you have yeah, one yeah. Wrestler and uh, I, you have to work out who they are with yes or no questions. Uh, yeah. At any point, you can guess. Like, is it this person? If, it, yeah. if, that, if that guess is right, you don't lose a point and you get the point that you currently have on the screen. So if you basically okay. say, oh, is it Sid? And it is Sid, then you get 20 points. However, if you yeah. ask any other question, either an incorrect guess or just like information to help you narrow it down, you do lose I got it. You. I got you. I got you. Cool, cool, cool. Is it Sid? It is not Sid. Okay. One of these times. One of the wait, it has uh, been Sid once. Uh, Chris Van Vliet had Sid. Is it a male wrestler? Yes. Is it someone currently an active wrestler within the WWE universe? No. Is it a currently active wrestler? No. Is it someone retired but still alive? No. Oh. oh. That's a good question, by the way. Uh, okay, so it's a male wrestler who is no longer alive is it someone who was a champion in wwe or wwf when you say champion do you mean any champion i mean any title yeah was it someone who was a champion in the 90s that's a very good question that's a very in WWF uh, to cage match. My favorite part <laughs> of what's my line. Um, <laughs> Just think next time we do this, you'll have a fact checker again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I might not. So uh, it must be around. Okay. So the fact that you're hesitating means it must be either around 1990 or around 2000. Um, ask me your question again. Was it someone who was a champion in WWF during the 1990s? Yes. Ooh. Is it a former intercontinental champion? Yes. Is it Mr. Perfect? No. Oh, good guess. That's good guess. Yes. Former intercontinent. Okay. Is it Terry Von Erich? Afraid not. That would have been my next guess. Okay. Uh, is it some... Okay, I, I might need to work out. Because as I said, the fact that you hesitated, it means it was either around 1990 or it was around 2000. So was this person a champion in the first half of the 90s? Yeah. Okay, so we are around that era. So who... Okay, who was intercontinental champion? Uh in the 90s so we have perfect uh wait von eric perfect bret hart mountain ah is it roddy piper roddy piper nine points very good nice good play. that was well I, that was a well done especially for a first timer that is just workman like yes. you love to see it very 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 good like i just i just i just enjoyed the clear methodical like pacey questions yet yeah, you love to see it in what's my line thank you very much dave nine points very well earned uh next up is tempest uh let me just adjust a few things uh so tempest give me a number between one and five whichever one isn't an ecw guy so i'm gonna say number five Number five. Absolutely. Let me just get your person's information. Hey, I'm ready when you are. Okay. So what, what is it that what, what points does he need to, to, to overtake me there? So uh Tempest is currently on 36 and you are on 48. So to overtake so if you have a washout and temp uh Tempest has to get uh, 13. 13. Uh, so wait, 12 because uh, champion's yeah. advantage. So if he, oh. if, if, 
Oh. If Tempest doesn't get it by 12 at the latest, then he is mathematically not champion. Yeah, yeah. we have. We will have a new champion regardless, yeah. Okay. All right, Tempest. No pressure, uh, mate. Yeah, yeah, bud. Okay. Um, is this wrestler a male? Yes. Oh, good question. <laughs> Shut up, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Get his head. Is, is this person a active wrestler? Yeah. Hmm. That was weirdly though. No, yeah. yeah. Adam, Adam always does that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This is all. This is also the round where Adam uh, sticks the the glasses down his nose, so we can't see the reflection in his in his eyes. Um, okay. Hmm. Is this person uh, best known for work in WWE? I'd say so. Yes. <clears throat> Did this person wrestle? Did they wrestle during the Attitude Era? Mm. I'm gonna. S when when is the Attitude Era though? Really? What's your did they, oh, hang on. Do, it's the question is: Did they wrestle during the Attitude Era? That was what I had asked. Yes. Yes is the answer to that question. Okay. Sorry, Dave. What did you say? I I'm just like, when do when do you say the Attitude Era started and finished? It's a it's a non it's a blurry line. Is my point. I I go real strict with it. I go from uh, the first time Attitude appeared in the Sting, uh, which I think is ninety seven, like yeah. early ninety seven, um, mm. and when they got the F out is when the Attitude Era ends for me. Oh, so no, see, some, people, some people say WrestleMania seventeen is the end. Spiritually, yes, but they—I mean—it it still said attitude like on their programming, so I—I I count it. But then again, I—I'm more of a stats guy than a than a feelings guy. Yeah, Tempest, your, your next question—you have four remaining questions. Hmm. Did this wrestler? Did this man hold? A top championship in WWE. Please define top championship. WWE or World Heavyweight or I guess Universal Champion if they somehow had like a 17 year long career. No. I feel like I always go down this path and it always burns me. Okay. Um... Not a top champion, wrestled in the Attitude Era. Doesn't sound like they're best known for the Attitude Era, although that's me inferring. And they're still active. Screw it. Is it Ken Shamrock? No. Oh, that's a bold play, Tempest. So close. Oh, see, I, I didn't think it necessarily was because, like, that would have been a slam dunk answer. Like, yeah, he wrestled in the Attitude Era. That wouldn't have been like a, ooh, he wrestled in the Attitude Era. Yeah, technically, yeah. Um, hmm. Do you want to take tomorrow off? <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're offering, no. yeah, I love one. Um, God damn. Uh, ba 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 ba. I don't have many guesses left. Is it? Oh, God. Is it? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Decker Red. True member of Team Tempest. Is it Billy Gunn? No. Oh. oh. Why did you do that? 
It's not very nice, Adam. Oh. But that means it's, that means me is really. Oh, I, I don't know if Adam's reaction is that was really close, as if it's like another Billy. I will. I will say my reaction is because we are down to this. Is it? These right. Are the okay. Point. That's my reaction to it. Mm-hmm. The, the shades are off. He's still got I'm, two, isn't he? I, uh, this one and the next. No, this one yeah. and the next one has to be right. Yeah. And that's just to tie his current score. He still has to go. <laughs> to be uh, well, Andy's terrible. So you know. Um, I, I don't know. Um. Attitude error, guys. Uh, was in the top champ. Was it Rhino? It was not Rhino. Ooh. Oh dear. No. I appreciate you sticking with me, Team Tempest. <laughs> uh, hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Adam, it's just all this trivia you've okay. done. You've just you've just defeated him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, is it? Uh, hmm. Well, this is my last guess, really. Yeah. It, this has to be a guess, really. Can we but all confirm? Really. Do you want to run down the information uh, that you've got so far? It's a man. They wrestled in the Attitude Era, is best known for stuff in WWE, and wasn't a top champion. That's about all I got. Wasn't the top champions that you gave me, no. Is it... I guess he kind of qualifies. Is it Samoa Joe? No, it's not. (gasps) Well, guys, <laughs> but you have who, 11 guesses now, Tempest. But which yeah. and new? Yeah, I could still come in second. Come on, Tempest, you've got this. Um, is it? Um, no, 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 not that answer. No, who cares? Is it uh, Dustin Rhodes? No, no, I didn't think so. Um, uh, did, did they ever wrestle in EC fucking W? <laughs> Yes. God damn this game! <laughs> you pick the art. You pick the number. Yeah, Stop you said you were picking one that wasn't ECW. ECW. You people, no. Oh God. Um. Oh Lord, I'm so not good at this. Um, were were they ever WWE ECW champion? Uh-huh. All right. That narrows that narrows it down. All right, let's see. We got I did the exact same thing last time. It's not Rob Van Dam. It's not Big Show. It, Bobby Lashley wasn't wrestling in the Attitude Era. Um uh it's um, Vince McMahon was a top champion. Uh it's, John Morrison wasn't wrestling in the Attitude Era. It's Green Giant Sweet Corn. CM Punk's not active. Uh, maybe Chavo. Could, it could possibly be Chavo Guerrero. Um, is it Chavo Guerrero? Yeah, it's Chavo Guerrero. Eight four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ECW. <laughs> I when I when I didn't say when I said what do you consider a top be- uh, belt I was hoping that you would then go to ECW champion and you might have done it <laughs> if you had because <laughs> you went straight from ECW to um, Chavo because Tempest. On, honestly Tempest if it had been anyone before two thousand I would have gone out on twenty without any points Tempest I'm so sorry it's okay it's okay. Okay, Adam Pearson, your turn. Uh, give me a number between um, one and four, please. What are we going for, dude? What should we go for? Three. Three. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I have your wrestler's info up. Uh, hit me. Am I on the active WWE roster? No. Have I ever been on the active roster for WWE? Yep. 
Do I weigh in less than 240 pounds? Yes. Did I wrestle in the 90s? No. Now keep in mind, you also, Adam Pearson, are much, you are one thing closer to Andy's total than I. So you yeah, have I've, four guesses. Everyone here help him to get up there. That's true. Sorry, can you repeat the did I, did I wrestle in the nineties? What was the answer? Sorry? It was no. No, okay. Have I wrestled after the 90s? Yeah. Okay. So it's either a <laughs> or a female. Look at Andy's face. He's like, he knows he's four points from victory. In no, no, no. The, 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 it's, it's, just, no. it's just I only ever win, the, if I'm going to win, it's I only ever win the quizzes that have no semblance of actual wrestling kind of knowledge. Hmm. So not on the roster, under 240 in the 2000s. So it's either a retired kind of cruiserweighty kind of guy or it's a retired female. Am I in the Hall of Fame? No. So it's not any of them. Are myself and or my husband on good terms with WWE? Uh, I couldn't say for sure, but I would say no. Wow, what a question. In so much, as I, think it, in so much I think it's actually data for you, I would say no. Although, <laughs> who, who what, what, what do you reckon? What do you reckon, big guy? Okay, this guy. Not me, it's this guy. Thinks it's AJ Lee. It's not AJ Lee. Oh, oh. damn it. Tell your little friend, what? pipe down. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh Dan's going to be shocked. So I did that to Super Bear. <laughs> Super Bear, no. Kryptonite no. being thrown across the room. Ah. <laughs> uh. Am I male? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is it. This is the this is the one we need. He can tie, Connie. He can. In that oh, case, I'll have to come tie. up with some sort of tiebreaker. I don't want to. No, we can be joint. I want to win. And can I do so badly that I lose points? I'll take points off you. I don't Two, 2000 male WWE, not in the Hall of Fame. It's a cruiserweight on bad terms with WWE. What cruiserweights are on bad terms with WWE? The only one I can truly think of that Vince fired because he was pissed off at. Am I Paul London? You are not Paul London. Ah. Oh. Second place that. has got to be in uh, in Jeff. Two title, Andy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, but it's I'm not. I'm not going to change my Twitter handle. Oh, oh, no. It's it's all falling to pieces. Was I ever intercontinental champion? Interesting question. To the internet, you were not intercontinental champion. 2000s, not the IC champion. So that could, that, that's not a lot of people for that era, surprisingly. When you say 2000s, where, where did you get that info from? You said, I asked, did I wrestle after the 90s? And you, you said, did. yes. Just be careful. Inferring that, that means the 2000s. Well, it's not just three thousand, is it? No, you know what I mean. But the two thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the decade, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just making sure, just making sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, because it could be the it could be the, the whole twenty ten thing, couldn't it? I, I I shall say no more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh. no, no. I I I know what you're getting at. <laughs> you get me. Hmm. Okay, wrestling WWE under. Was I in what could potentially be considered a borderline racist stable that rode on raw mowers to the ring? <laughs> you were not part of the Mexicals, no. Okay. Very specific. I know. And I know I'm not going to win, so I'm going for the comedy sympathy points because it worked out <laughs> quite well for me. It worked out quite well for me last time. Do I have a family lineage in wrestling? No. No. Okay, so... You... No. Have I wrestled outside of WWE? Yeah. Okay. Outside of WWE. 2000, been in WWE. Not a champion. So let's let's just rattle off some random wrestlers now. I've seen Ollie do this and it worked. Am I Caval? No. <laughs> Chad Gable. <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw. You are not Chad Gable. I'm just gonna say it now. You are not Chad Gable. I'm not Chad and I'm neither Hobbs nor Shaw. You're neither <laughs> Hobbs nor Shaw, nor the ampersand between them. Okay. Okay, so I'm not Hobbs, I'm not sure. Have I ever wrestled in NXT? Okay, now now we're talking. This should have been like a really early question I asked. Have I ever been called up from NXT? Yep. So, like people who've been called up from NXT, who are men who aren't there anymore and who are not on the best of terms... With WWE. Hmm. Mm. I think I've got it. Was I meant to be on Quizzle Mania a long, long time ago, but pushed out at the last minute? I don't know <laughs> if that's happened. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> The, uh, the thoughts Did and you... views of the guests of Quizzlemania do not reflect the thoughts. Hi, Leah. Of the of Hi. Hi, it's Hi, Jose. All, it's all a bit of a, a laugh. Did I once get pinned by Johnny, John Morrison, Johnny Impact, whatever everyone's calling this off, and take it really, really badly? Was that was that a question? Sorry, did they ever get pinned by Johnny? Yeah, yeah. Was I once pinned by Johnny Impact and took it really, really badly at the end of a live pay per view? I assume you're talking about Austin Aries. I am <laughs> very much talking about Austin Aries. Okay. Come on, come on, Adam. Come on, Adam. Get that point, mate. No, we, 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 we've, we've got this. We've got this. It was going so well. Can't we just do that theme music thing again? NXT came up to the roster. Yep. Obviously sucked. Not on good terms of the company. Not there anymore. To the point where I'm assuming that they either took their ball and went home or got fired. It's not No Way Jose. It's not Austin Aries. Damn, you're fucking. He's in the chamber with you, Adam Fitz. He's, is he he's, a he's still very. He's still employed in NXT. Can, for some, can, for can some we all help? Known. Can we all help Adam now? Uh, well, that's up to Adam, but uh, I'm, don't, don't help Mr. Pearson if he does not request the help. Oh, who got caught up from NXT and it didn't go well? That could be literally anyone. It's not Sid. It's definitely not Sid. It's definitely <laughs> not Sid. Yeah. It might be Sid. Have you tried asking? Uh, it, it, it isn't. It isn't. So wh who who were the call ups who got who got? Oh, but is he on the? Is no, he is. Yes. Okay. Okay. I it, it just it is. I'm really annoyed at myself because I I had a question right at the start that I was going to ask. Have I ever had a pending criminal conviction? Is it Enzo Amore? No, it's not Enzo. <laughs> oh, no. Is it Pack? It's Pack. Yeah, it's Pack. Uh, oh. 
sorry, mate. God, you were so close. <laughs> I'm not I got it when you said not. NXT, and that he no had been out of NXT. was on bad terms. I mean, I assume he's on bad terms because he's working for the enemy, but like, I, I don't. Oh know. yeah, he's he definitely. They froze his contract, so he couldn't do anything. Yeah, Adam. Adam, how thrilled the comments uh, about me winning? I've uh, not there. seen one. Well, let's tell you what. Let's do this first. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do, let's do this. Before, I'm gonna just just to make sure no one accuses me of anything. I'm just gonna. I'll do that. It's gonna be gonna be for great audio, but. Uh, you look like Can you hear me at all? God, it's like a snuff film. I feel like you're about to set me some sort of challenge. Um, Wait, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a sock over my eyes instead. Oh, God, this is weird. Uh, Why do you have a sock just there? Don't you? No. Are you doing the bird box challenge? <laughs> Can you ask me... Uh, ask, uh, what's oh, my, num- my head's too big. <laughs> number it's two. not going to work. Give me a Whatever. number two, one and three, dickhead. Uh, because you are modern, I think you started with a more modern wrestler first. So I'm going to go number one. Number one. All right. I'm ready when you are, pal. Is it a man? Yes. Damn it. Uh, are they currently active? Yep. In WWE? Yep. This is it. This is, this is, this is, <laughs> are they an ECW? No. Um, uh, 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 is, is he on Raw? Guess to show how much I know about the current product. <laughs> no. Uh, which, which would suggest that he's on SmackDown because otherwise you would have known that he's on NXT. Um, right, and I watch SmackDown. I actually review SmackDown. So, but the fact that you also didn't know would suggest that he's not on the particularly high card. Right. Um, does he is, is he Caucasian? Yep. Uh, has he ever been in a champion uh, in, a, in a tag team championship pairing? Yep. Does he often go? Oh yeah. No. No, it's not Otis. Um, I just asked, is it Otis? <laughs> But fine. No, I know, but I like that question more. Um, he has been. Is he currently in a tag team? Yep. Right, that really narrows it down on SmackDown. Uh, I would think that you would know that Cesaro and Nakamura are on there. Um, who else is tagging? Bobby Roode. And is it Bobby Roode? No. Is it Dolph? Yeah. 11 points to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> there we Ooh. go. And you! Uh, WrestleMania champion. I, know I, always, see. I always seem to get the, the easy ones on that. I think I got, what did I get last time? Like Dana Brooke or someone? Someone like that. Uh, Tempest, thoughts, mate? Uh, well, as much as I do love and respect my other competitors on this side, if I had to lose it, I'm glad it is to my tag team partner, Mr. Randy Andy Datsun. What a storyline. <laughs> two title... Te- yeah, this is... Can they know. coexist? Yeah, Clearly not. two-man power trip. We've Magical got uh, two title if, Randy. If it makes you feel better, Tempest, I won that knowing... Uh, accidentally knowing the prices of some things on Wish, uh, I knew a few the names of a few wrestling moves, and then Adam guessed two of my the the songs I was singing. So I just got an extra six points. Without that, I wouldn't have won. So uh, great! Now, yeah, now I can come back next time. You yeah, can. Congrats, pal. You have to work more now. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to hop into some super chats. Um, and so I can go and play Hitman 3. Uh, again, lovely to spend Quizomania with you all. Uh, Andras says, welcome, guys. It's great to see you all. Quizomania is always the highlight of the day when it airs. Take care, and I wish you all the best for 2021, you too. Uh, I'm going to put up a 
don't don't mock me, Pearson. Uh, I'm going to put up Dave Bradshaw's information. Go and follow Dave Bradshaw on Twitter. He's a lovely man. Take his crosswords. Um, Cliff says, I tried to record a podcast and edit it the same evening, and now I'm watching you lot. Question. Who would you all love to be the surprise entrant in the Rumble this year? P.S. Adam, no, you can't choose our truth We all know how much you love him. I assume you're talking about Adam Pearson there because I don't love our truth I think he's fine. I think he's fine. Uh, surprise entrant. I mean, Carlito will be fun. Carlito. I'm, I'm, I'm totally on, I'm on the Carlito 2021 train. He's going to win the whole thing. <laughs> Shelton's back. Shelton's a champion. MVP's back. Let's just do it. Let's 2010 all over again. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm, I'm going to say, I want it, it, it's sort of a return. It's certainly a return to active in ring work. I want Samoa Joe back. That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, anyone else have a uh, surprise entrant they really want to see? Wade Barrett. Oh, good shout. Ooh, yeah. Jack Archer says, hashtag fresh KFC 2021, hashtag jam that jam. Mike Smith says, I've watched uh, since the first quiz. I have a question for you, Blumpy. Why have I not seen OSW review on your quiz? They are my favorite wrestling uh, YouTube wrestling channel and don't know why they are not represented. The door is open for them anytime they wish. Uh, they're just busy lads. I've asked. I have asked. Um, but don't hound them about it on Twitter either. But they'll if they if they get the free time, they'll be on the show. Hopefully, uh, David says, "Can you please wish Naomi Randall a happy birthday for the twenty fifth?" Adam, she is your biggest fan. Naomi Randall, happy birthday on the twenty fifth. Uh, the other Tempest says, "Hello, boys." Uh, question: What is everyone's favorite live show they've been to? Mine was the 05 Royal Rumble in my hometown. Uh, I've been so I've I've not been to many, but I think Takeover Orlando uh, was possibly my favorite because that had that lovely triple threat match DIY, um, Authors of Pain, and the Revival, which was storming. Although SummerSlam that year was also good, being in the crowd for AJ versus Cena was pretty special. Uh, what about you guys? I've I've been uh, see I was at SummerSlam '92, nice, uh, which was awesome. But I was also at WrestleMania '17. So wow, you were at the, WrestleMania X Seven. Yeah, and 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 twenty eight. So I was at the first Rock Cena in Miami as well. But Once in a while, yeah. I think because of you know childhood wonder and all that, uh, and I had a massive Ultimate Warrior banner with me, which I still have to this day. So I'll go SummerSlam ninety two. Very nice, uh, Datsun. Favorite show I've been to live. I haven't been to a lot of shows live to be honest because they're all in America. Uh, I saw Alistair Black's main roster uh, debut on Raw. That was pretty fun. Nice. There you go. There you go. Uh, but but also, I went to um, Progress Super Strong Style 16 uh, in 20, either 17 or 18, and that was awesome. Um, I just wish the people on the show had turned out to be a bit nicer. Tempest. <laughs> it's, it's tough. There are, like, you know... A a fair few really th I've been lucky to have basically gone to only really good shows when I've gone the big shows anyway I've gone to house well. shows that were yeah well <laughs> I've been to house shows and such that weren't great but um I went to both of the takeover Torontos so two out of three falls DIY revival was excellent obviously I uh, went to Survivor Series 2016 where Goldberg beat Brock. That was nutty. Uh, I, I was at the Rumble 2018 when Nakamura won. That was fun. Uh, as well as take over Philadelphia with the five-star match, uh, Gargano and Almas. Uh, but I'd probably say the best one is uh, AEW Revolution. That tag match Ooh. was just primo. Amazing. Alucard Alacart says, it's a new year, new day in America. Thanks all for what you've done to make the last year bearable. What are your favorite examples of pro wrestling types showing up in other media? For my money, you can't be Mr. Satan, Hercule in Dragon Ball Z. I'm a big fan of Bret Hart in The Simpsons. Damn it, I was going to yeah. say that. <laughs> Especially because he didn't know he was supposed to be playing Bret Hart. He thought he was yeah. just supposed to be a wrestler. So he didn't do his like Bret Hart voice. Yeah. He did a wrestling yeah. voice. This place has got old man stick. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I've got a shout out for um, uh, Randy Savage in Spider Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's such a good one. Ready? Nice. 
Has, has yeah. anyone seen Hulk Hogan Celebrity Championship Wrestling? Love the it. reality show. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's it's single handedly the best and worst thing I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. Watching Dustin Diamond try and do a DDT on Butterbean. It, <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Um, Inoki says the year is 2041. We are entering WrestleMania 57. What do you guys think the main event match will be? I mean, I think Goldberg will be in there somewhere. Uh, who's the youngest person in wrestling? He could, uh, he could still be around in 21 years. Dominic Mysterio, yeah, it'll be Dominic Mysterio versus Tyler Bate. Oh, good shout! I wouldn't, I wouldn't be object, I wouldn't object to see that. <laughs> match today. Uh, Luke Blackman says, Hello, uh, everyone from Nashville, loving Quizomania. But Adam's got me thinking about Hitman, which I'm buying right now. So I wanted to ask, What's your guy's favorite Hitman map? Now you're asking, uh, you're asking fire, good fire questions. I I love everything from the new trilogy. I love how open world they are. I bloody love the race car one from Hitman 2, you know. Um, Ooh, good, good shout. So good. But I actually, like, for me, like, because that's just the ways you can, like, the fact you can push the dad onto the car when it hits at just the right time so they both crash. Uh, I would actually say, like, but the mundane maps for me. So, like, I really like the Suburbs one from Hitman 2. Where there's like a like a garden party happening, you just got to kill an old man in his house. But like there's like yeah. pest control and all this jazz. It's uh, lovely. I'm famously bad at stealth games, and I've only ever played one Hitman game. I think it was Blood Money. Blood Money's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and I yeah. never got past the first level, and it's like infiltrating a base. So that's the only one I've ever played, and therefore that's my favorite. It's like a birthday party oh. one in Blood Money, which is really really good. Uh, Adam, Adam Pearson, what do you, what do you, uh, I, not, I, don't mention anything from Hitman 3. I no, I, I won't, I won't. I, I really like Sapienza from Hitman 1. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, really so you've good. Got to, you've got to kind of destroy the virus, kill the scientist, and kill the, kill the rich guy. And I, I'm, I, that's the first stealth map in any game that I just learned inside out to be able to do it in just the suit without being spotted. And there's Wait, like 12 different ways to, to do that. You destroyed the virus, and uh, this is very uninteresting to anyone who doesn't know about Hitman. <laughs> you destroyed the virus in your suit? Yeah, I'm here for the yeah. toilet. How? So he, he is quite easy to take out. You first got to take out the guy. You go left, get the flowers, go lay them, sneak in through the side door. There's a little ledge you can jump up, pull yourself in, and just sneak around to the grave, put the flowers there, wait for them to come, kill him, put him in the. Um, <laughs> the choppy choppy thing, the wood chipper, and turn it on. Then you go round to where the um the seaplane is. Yeah. Trigger the alarm, and then she'll go in to check on the virus. There's a stanotype above where the virus is. If you shoot that down, you'll destroy the virus and kill her at the same time. No way! And then you can just hop, and then you can just hop in the seaplane and and get out of there. Every day's a school day. Love it. Uh, Tan City says, big uh, what's up to my fellow Canuck, an all-round legend, Tempest. Ever been to Saskatchewan? Good luck pronouncing that, Adam. I know how to pronounce Saskatchewan. Did I get it right? Yeah, close enough. It's Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You got it. Saskatchewan. I, I have not. I had plans to uh, make way and go west into Western Canada, uh, but of course, pandemic kind of put a halt to that. Uh, I have not been to Saskatchewan, just Ontario and Quebec. Uh, Mel and Gel 666 says, no SRS, no Alex Queen of the Ring. Team Tempest it is. Go Masked Marvel. I am not an owl, says, just started watching New Japan uh, on Fight. Knowing only Okada, Osprey, and Omega. Who else should I seek out matches from? Shibata. Shibata, yeah. All day. Uh, who's that? Tempest? Hiroshi Tanahashi. Horseshoe Tanahashi. Horseshoe Tanahashi. Wait, who, wait, who, was, the list? who was the list of people they, they already knew? They knew Okada, Osprey, and Omega. Oh, Ibushi as well, then. Yeah, for there sure. Go. Ibushi, uh, Ishii, Ishii's good. Evil Eye is, is okay. Uh, uh, I, went to, I went to a bit of a New Japan bender for Wrestle Kingdom. I think I, I talked Tempest into oblivion about it <laughs> on, on Twitter. Meet New Japan versions of Shinsuke Nakamura and Carl Anderson because you will yes. you will enjoy making their acquaintance. Bad uh, luck, Farley and Great Khan. 
but also in real life, uh, um, Shingo Takagi. Oh, also Zack Sabre Jr. Let's represent. Hell yeah! Yes. Yeah, I, I, I famously yeah, yeah. love Zack Sabre Jr. He's my favorite wrestler. Dangerous He's tech. So good. There's a really old Zack Sabre Jr. Okada match where Zack just tries to break him down limb by limb, and it's just such a cleverly paced match. Sakura Genesis 2018. Go watch it. Tyler Woodward says, Adam, I'm starting a new series on my channel called Mumble Mania, where I take a Mania match, flip the result, and then I'll book the next month for the new winner. Any Mania matches you'd like to see the results flipped? My first one would be the Mania 30 main event. Oh, gosh, who, who would there, Batista? Wow. <laughs> who would uh, do that? That's a, that's a really fun one, though. So take a, a main event, flip it, and then book it a month after. I mean... I mean, I, I do kind of wonder what would WrestleMania X7 be like if Rock had retained. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. people, the, the the fans would have rioted. I was about to say the exact same thing. Like, it was it, it was the wrong... This is controversial. It was the wrong place to do it. Wrong place yeah. to do the heel turn. I mean, I was there, and I was one of the only people who was cheering for The Rock in the whole building. And then when, uh, when Austin won, no one started booing him. No one was like... Oh no, that's terrible! Everyone thought Vince McMahon had turned babyface. Like that was that was the feeling in the building. So I, I don't think I think they should have done that if it was a WrestleMania in Miami, but probably not in Texas. Very nice. Aaron says mm -hmm. I'm happy. Oh, sorry, go. On. Well, just for like another another main event to switch the result of. Uh, I always kind of wonder what would have happened if Shawn Michaels had beaten John Cena for the WWE title in 2007. Oh, you know, just like thing. You know, later in his career, but have like a, a one last proper WWE title run, you know, as as saved Shawn Michaels. I thought that could have been really yeah. cool. I, I, I want to know what happened if uh, Shawn Michaels beats Taker in the I career just versus Street Match. I would say that very, very yeah. Because that, that affects everything. That has like years of kind of um, butterfly effect going on. Just the idea of just, I don't know if the fans would have, like, would he have turned? Would that have turned him heel? Like he said, "Oh, good, we get to see more Shawn Michaels." But also, this is not what we wanted. Anywho, mm -hmm. uh, Aaron says, I "I'm having the worst day. Probably having to give up my business because of stupid COVID." Uh, can I come and work with you guys? I'm sure I could write or something. <laughs> Thank you for a little bit of sanity on an otherwise insane day. It's really needed. I'm really sorry to hear that, Aaron. I really hope uh, there's some form of government help that you can get. I know that governments are being really, really shitty about this kind of stuff, but uh, I really hope that there's some there's some sort of restitution you, you can get. Really sorry to hear that, Aaron. Uh, GB Kane says, I work as a cleaner for the NHS and was cleaning a ward the other day when I heard a loud crash, went to see if the patients were okay, only to find a lot of wooden blocks on the floor. Fucking Jenga. <laughs> 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 Jenga is the worst. Uh, your best friend says, taking a break from Raid Shadow Legends to watch the quiz. Uh, say, flee, thanks to Surfshark. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. I don't get beer 52 in the States, but a cold beer is nearby. Jam that jam. Never forget that even Marie had a WrestleMania match before Bailey. Uh, Daniel O'Neill says, today is the one year anniversary of my dad's death. He passed away unexpectedly last year. At the time, I was only 29 and never thought I would lose a parent at such an early age. Thank you, Adam and the gang, for adding, adding a glimmer of light to this dark day. Uh, I'm very, very sorry. I mean, obviously, this must be a really tough day. I uh, hope you're getting through it, Daniel. Thanks for spending it with us, I, I suppose. I hope it's, it's helped. I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, Tyler Woodward says, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. Where are my fucking papers? I've missed, I missed a charity stream because of work, but the first time I saw John Hugh wrestle was The Shield versus The Wyatts. And I was like, holy shit, I would like to watch him live. Shame I can't now. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. Uh, RA Era Podcast says, your friendly reminder that Joe Doring from Impact, Wrestler, Impact Wrestling looks like Nanny from Count Duckula. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know who that is. Oh, my goodness. Um, Joe Doring's great, by the way. Andy, go watch him. I will. I'm going to go straight to Woking, where I imagine he lives. There you go. By the way, my dad knows the mayor of Woking, so if like I could call up and see if we can get like a ticker tape parade. Now you're the. Oh yeah, yeah. I imagine I imagine the mayor of Woking, uh, mayor, uh, your 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 honour, your what is it? Yeah, your honour. Your, your honour, if you're if you're watching, which I imagine you are. Probably. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'm happy to do an open bus tour. Um, 
It's just and nice he, to have a local hero, isn't it? Like, when was the last yeah. time... Uh, Woking. Woking, Woking has produced uh, Paul Weller from the Jam. HG Wells. HG Wells lived there That's briefly. Better. That's better. Uh, Harry Hill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean Locke. Um, and Robert Green, the uh, goalkeeper, England goalkeeper who famously let the ball rick- trickle through his legs against the United States oh, uh, right. in the 2010 World Cup. God, yes. <laughs> Idiot. Harry- Harriet says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tempest, get it <laughs> Harriet says, thank you guys, as always, for continuing to make these quizzes and what you all do on the, uh, all the channels. Hope you're all doing okay. Hello, Harriet. And come on, Adam Pearson, super awesome guy. Jam that jam and holla, holla. Let me just find holla, holla. There we are. Holla, holla, holla. For satisfaction. Uh, Evan, the Canadian giant, says, 23rd birthday plan. Trump is finally gone. Quizlemania starts up in AEW Dynamite is tonight. How that for a slice of fried gold? Question, what do you think uh, would be the Mount Rushmore of wrestling's best T-shirts? Hashtag Hitman Nat 3. Hashtag support each other. 316. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I'm a hugger. Yes. <laughs> D- don't, don't, don't laugh, Tempest. You know I'm right. <laughs> I'm that, 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 that one, there was Super Showdown one from Wish earlier. Yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah. There's, there's the Sin Cara one with, with the cock on it. That one, that one's decent. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's, the Becky, there's the Becky Lynch one that says Last Kicker, but they didn't I, really think through that one at all. I am, okay, Pearson, I am doing this seriously. <laughs> so 360. Got, got, oh, that, one. I, I'm going to say legit. It, speaking of CM Punk, the the white CM Punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good the shirt. White, uh, the white CM Punk, and like, what about uh, original DX? Oh yeah. Out. What with the the, the white squeeze? The degenerative the, the X and the... that's brilliant. Okay, yeah. I always oh, like the the there was the Jeff Hardy one that he painted himself from like 2008. <laughs> I like that one. I was also like 12 at the time. <laughs> I mean, yellow Hulkamania one, yellow Hulkamania, like the yellow with the red Hulkamania. Mm. Uh, it's hard I mean, to argue. Uh, hard to yeah, argue with that. Yeah, but he's a knob. Uh, not <laughs> yeah. you, Dave. I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> I I don't know, but I do you know what. There are some really good ones at wrestle dot com. Um, so if you like wrestling T-shirts, do head over to wrestle dot com or. You can go there via WrestleTalk, WrestleTalk.com and, and find yourself some lovely T-shirts or a hoodie or a mug or a mask. Holla, holla, holla. Priest 55 says, <laughs> holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Why does he have two light bulbs in his kitchen, one on his ceiling and one sitting one. on his shoulders? <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, I've heard that one before. Uh, Dave, you, the, that that video was filmed at the in the car park of uh, Surrey University. Oh, in Guildford. Uh, Stop yeah, talking I thought, I, work. I now, I now, I now, I now live in Guildford. Um, oh, lovely. But, uh, yeah. but born and bred in Woking. Well, not born and bred. Born in Sweden. Bred in Woking. Deck chair nineteen ninety two says, "What's your favourite underrated theme song?" Mine would have to be Matt Hardy's V One theme. Uh, where he slaps tornadoes. What an absolute brilliant shat. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah! <laughs> it might be uh, a Town Called Malice by The Jam, which actually is about Woking. Um, little little known fact. No, go on. Gonna, finish I'm... the fucking bit. No, 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 no. no, no, no I'm going to get kicked out. I, I, know, I saw you moving your hand. <laughs> uh, Spongy Ric Flair says, opinions on the best matches of King's Road, or for Andy, opinions on Lena Paul. Also for Tempest, <laughs> who's the guy you hate in the picture behind you? Thanks oh. for all you do, gang. Love you lots. Big kisses. Right. I think best matches. I've got to not King's react Road. to those because otherwise it's obvious that I know who that is. Uh, and Andy, is, I'll, I'll, I'll set you up. Is Lena Paul the one that's in the really weird Rugrats parody? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I don't know. I haven't seen that. I've only seen the sequel. What? <laughs> I think, I think it's, no, I, I think I, it's her who's, who's in. I think she plays Angelica in, in Tugrats. <laughs> Eliza. In, in, sorry, in Tugrats. Yeah, no, that's what it's called. It's not called Tugrats. It's I, not. <laughs> I, Guys, I don't know. 
<laughs> Guys, I have man. to confirm what he's saying is true. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Boys, you're embarrassing me in front of Dave Bradshaw. <laughs> he's a broadcaster. Anyway. What uh, was the question? Something uh, about King's Road. What's your favorite match on King's Road? Jesus Christ. Uh, fucking Kawada, <laughs> Kawada and Masawa. Arguably the best match of all time, according to some people. Uh, right. Uh, Dave Matushik says, hello, sexy puppies. I just want to say hello. I am enjoying oh today's event so far. I hope you can do more charity work in the future. Jam that sexy plumpy jam. Too much? Never. Uh, Evil Bobby says, loving ro no rolls bard, but with lockdown looming, do you know any two-player legacy style games my wife and I can play at home? Love all the channels. Game that game. Best two-player legacy for my money is my city. Really, really good. Uh, it's like a Tetris style game. Very simple to pick up. Uh, very quick to play as well. But like most like, games, you can play really well with two players. Like Pandemic is really, really my uh, my city is is Woking. Um, it's famous in the news because uh, that's where Prince Andrew went. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> Prince, where Prince Andrew <laughs> supposedly was when he was supposed to be. Uh, or that's what he, where he claimed he was when he was not in that uh, in that club. Also, someone asked me where in Sweden I was born. I was born uh, in Stockholm, and I moved here when I was about uh, eighteen months. What's there you better, go. Fun fact: Stockholm, Stockholm or Guildford? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm really am a woking woking boy. Right, I mean, Stockholm Adam, Adam Pierce. Oh well, woke wo wo well, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Woking. Um, Adam Pearson, what's your what's your opinion? Well, my I, I have an ex girlfriend who was from Sweden. She was in Zalen, just outside of, of Stockholm. Okay. And the reason she is my ex girlfriend is I thought it would be funny and cute to take her on a second date to lunch at IKEA. And <laughs> all my friends that I told I was going to do this said that's hilarious. You should definitely do that. And it just sort of didn't translate. And I don't know if any of you have had to sleep on the sofa in your own house. Not the best <laughs> anyone else. Does that actually happen? Because, I mean, I've pissed off a number of girlfriends, but I've never been asked to sleep on a sofa. I, I misjudged this one really, really badly. Did you, get the, did you buy the sofa from Ikea? <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I already had one. Had one, Andy. I think that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. I think it was either that. Or when her her cat died, I, I saw <laughs> who has an own, her, her I, I saw who hasn't owned a pet. I don't know what the correct response to that news is, and she was also crying a little bit as well, which made me uh, um, uh, what was the French call it? Fucking panic. And apparently <laughs> saying there there there, we can get you a new cat was not the right thing to say in, in that Just moment. Going, oh yeah. I mean, we're really, we're really talking a long time here. I'd be really annoyed if I really wanted to play a, a video game of some kind. <laughs> Naomi <laughs> says, will we get a one-night ultimate werewolf or board game club? Probably. Bloody great game. Matt Hirsch says, always, good to, always cool to see fresh faces on QM. Hope Moriarty's polite uncle has a great time. Uh, Luca says, yeah. evening all. Love the quiz. My question is, what's everyone's pick for the Dusty Classic this year? Personally, I think MSK could go all the way. Hashtag jam that jam uh, I think uh they, yeah yeah maybe uh i don't know if they'll give it to grizzled young but i don't know like maybe undisputed era could get the two but it, it seems like one of those things that no one should ever have to win twice so uh yeah, yeah. Like hot shot hot shot msk that would be really fun i don't know i i don't think technically undisputed era has won the, the tournament well they well they didn't win the, they, no, they, they they've won the trophy yeah, they, they won it because it was on also on the line at a takeover in a really weird bit of booking. So, so stupid. Uh, uh, Sky yeah, any of the people that won last week, so MSK, Grizzled Young Veterans, or Undisputed Era could win. Otherwise, like, who fucking cares? Like, it's a bunch of thrown together teams. Sky Luna says, Team Tempest, Fort 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 Life. Question for the room: Favorite Wrestle Kingdom match of all time? Uh, Okada Omega, probably. Yeah, um, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Revenants, all my years of browsing wrestlers' Wikipedias finally have meaning with the new edition of Well Technically Round. Hope to see it featured more often in Quizlemanias from here on. Also, hope you all have a fantastic rest of the week. Ah, oh, same to you, Revenants. Oh. Heavy, heavy Metal Chris says, hey lads, hope all are well. What is your biggest guilty pleasure pay-per-view or one that you love that everyone hates? Mine is Royal Rumble 93. Watching Savage try to pin Yokozuna <laughs> in the Rumble match is a classic. Much love from Swindon. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag brand new prez um i can't think of ones that like i don't enjoy that i would like want to re-watch i mean like i i, I will happily re-watch a bad rumble yeah like, bad I, rumble. I will re-watch any rumble, yeah. rumble. like i'll like, watch um... the 95 rumble or the 96 rumble or you know like like any of the late 90s not not 97 97 is decent enough but like 99 is so terrible <laughs> but i would go know. for like you know, like, uh, well, from a commentator's perspective, King of the Ring 94 is always re remembered badly because it had that, what was the guy, Art Donovan? The guy who was, oh, how much How this much guy, this guy <laughs> Yeah, but actually, despite that, it's an incredible uh, pay-per-view. So, I mean, uh, vintage Owen Hart performances throughout the night. So The King of Hearts. Uh, I've got Chris a real soft spot. I've got a soft spot for St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love that finish. The finish of that cage match, I thought, was genius. We could be getting another one because they've got NXTs on uh, on Valentine's Day this year. They've got a takeover this year. I would be shocked if they don't call it NXT Takeover St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, CM Chris says, hello, everyone. Welcome, Dave Bradshaw, to QM. Love the work you've done in British wrestling. Lovely seeing Tempest, Pearson, Blompier, and Datsun as it's taken my mind off everything awful going on with this damn virus. Also, hi to Carol. Uh, hashtag SP3 for Quizlemania. Mm. David Singhouse says, hello. If I can add some themes out there that I think are true bangers, granted, non-WWE, is Naito's theme, Ishii's yes. theme, which is highly underrated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big Chungus. Uh, Adam Blompier's BFF says, fantasy book Dan Housen winning the Royal Rumble, Lausen, then smashing Rome Housen at WrestleMania Housen. Thank you very much, Dan Housen. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm at work at the moment in a toilet trying to watch as much as I can before going back in a very hot <laughs> container in Melbourne, Australia. Love you all. Thank you. And good luck to in, in all of your uh, endeavors. Toilet. <laughs> Gary Pierce says, holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. Andy B says, watching from the start, so sorry if this has already been asked, a best match from the Rumble that isn't a Rumble match. Uh, Rollins versus Cena versus Brock is one of the best triple threats in years, but Cactus Jack versus Triple H was still a great title match. Does anyone have a, one that we were, didn't mention earlier? Uh, Benoit and Angle in uh, 2003 is, uh, is great. Oh, oh. Here's one. Here's one that wasn't mentioned earlier. Uh, Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys, 2001. Oh, the, the tables, yes. The opening match, it's absolutely, when they're working through the whole concussion angle, like, you know, iffy today, but it's such <laughs> a stellar match. Like the Actually, the, the same show, there's a, isn't there a Jericho Benoit ladder match in there? Yeah. I was about to say the IC oh, title yeah. ladder match. I think, wasn't that yeah. the opener, if I remember correctly? Yes. Uh, the ladder match, no, that was uh, Edge and Christian versus Dudley's was the opener. I've, I've watched it recently, uh, but it's like the okay. second match, I think. But yeah, it's it's, it's so really good. good. That Patrick, show is so good. It's such Royal a good pay per view. One? It's the best Royal Rumble pay per view, I think, hands mm. down. You can argue it's not your favorite Rumble, but it's the best Royal Rumble pay per view. You're mm, you don't seem convinced, Dave Bradshaw. <laughs> Well, see, 2000 not only has, and I, I know I was saying how great Triple H Cactus Jack is, which it is, but also it's got that moment of Jeff Hardy doing the spot off the balcony of Madison Square Garden. I just think it's like, and it's got uh, Taz's debut, which was, you know, the, I mean, it was brief, but the pop for that was great. So undercard-wise. Hey, young getting a wabber now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real yeah, just... <laughs> That happened. It's also got Hardcore Holly, China, and Chris Jericho in a bizarre <laughs> triple threat match. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Kennedy says, Adam, to combine your love of wrestling and board games, give us a board games, but in the way William Regal says war games. <laughs> board games! Jam that jam. Trump is gone. Thanks for everything over the years. Plumpy. Uh, Cabinet Sleepover with Linda says, many finishes are named half punish, like zigzag, riptide, insane elbow. What do you guys consider the best pun name of a finisher, and why is it Becky Lynch's manhandle slam? That's the one I was telling you about earlier. Hmm. Um... <laughs> 
pun finisher. Like a pun. I mean, I like the disarm her. That's good. That's decent too. Um, ankle angle lock. Maybe. Bank statement. Bank statements. Pretty Bank good. statement. Good Bailey job. Telly. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Andy. Uh, Brian says, hi, guys. Hope you're having a great day today. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Dave, what was your favorite match that you called in WCPW? And two, Adam, did you intentionally place the commentary booth under the bathroom sign in WCPW? No, I didn't. The toilet arrow. No, I didn't. Obviously not. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, do you? obviously you've already answered. Um, well, I can give you another. I can, I can give you more. Uh, so we had a, uh, uh, which you'll remember, Adam, we had a 64-man knockout tournament, which we called the, which took place over several months, which we called the Pro Wrestling World Cup. And we had all sorts of uh, matches. The final ended up being Osprey against Kushida, which was wicked. But we also had Osprey against Mysterio in there. We had Ricochet against Keith Lee in the oh, nice. UK. So that was just... Uh, I always point people to that match if they say, you know, people talk about Ricochet, oh, he's just a flippy guy. You know, he can't tell a story. I'm like, well, I watch him against Keith Lee, and it's one of the best kind of David Goliath in-match storytelling efforts you will uh, you will ever see. So there's it's... lots of in that tournament. All right, crazy, crazy to think. think. Cr sorry, crazy to think that Ricochet and Keith Lee are on the same show right now and just... <laughs> hasn't even hasn't even come across the, oh that's a good match we could we could do that <sighs> quote the raven 79 says hey guys i've been kicking around the idea of starting my own horror movie based game show and i was wondering what programs are you using to put on quizzle thanks for all you do uh, hashtag ftf hashtag jtj it's just Streamyard. uh it's a it's a pro version of Streamyard. um but yeah streamyard.com is what we use uh, Human316 says, I think Brian and Nakamura gets a double win at the Rumble. Have a match the next pay-per-view to determine the winner, but draws Daniel Bryan versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I would not watch. That's fun. Yeah. Um, Shawnee in the wrestling says, hello, huge fan. Love you all. I think Tempest is the Bret Hart of Quizzlemania. Uh, on my pod of the same name, we take two matches of the same wrestlers and pick one, which one we prefer. So D Bry versus Bray Rumble 2014 or D Bry versus Fiend Rumble 2020. Jam that jam. Oh, D Bry versus Bray Rumble 2014 mm. all day long. That match is yeah. fucking wonderful. Uh, Jared says, two of my three favorite wrestling Adams. Yay. My third being Adam Rose. What were you thinking? Clumpy, <laughs> my dog and I loving your book. Oh, thank you, Jared. Uh, hashtag Pearson, that Pearson. P.S. I actually do love uh, Zing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Fred the Shed says, thank you for all the entertainment this past year. Wanted to ask Adam a booking video question. Uh, you've done a booking with Roman. You've done a booking with Ambrose. Will we see a booking with the Forgotten Shield member? Kurt Angle for cr or CrossFit <laughs> Jesus. I mean, Kurt Angle's already got a booking. Obviously, Kurt Angle's a legitimate son. Uh, and like Seth Rollins has not had any kind of major goofs so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously the you know the Dean Ambrose feud, but that's covered in the Ambrose stuff. But like the the Messiah stuff, I think is really fun. Like, I guess his 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 Universal Title run, you could say. But like, what well, with with J and J Security. No, I, th I thought that was all right. You no. know, like I thought, you know, he was just a good chicken shit champion. Um, put, uh, you know, you know, ended up getting re more and more credit. Rebook re the heist of the century. No, I don't want to. Uh, I thought I thought Rollins' babyface turn when he came back from injury was like one of the worst babyface turns I've ever seen. Where everyone knew he should be a babyface, he came back and was like, "Ha ha ha! I hate you, fans. You wanted me back. I'm not doing this for you." And then turned heel anyway, like a month later, and no one cared. Yeah, uh, especially after that documentary as well. Uh, sadly, I had to put my oh gosh, uh, Ari Ellie uh, said. Uh, sadly, I had to put my grandfather to rest today. But you all brought my husband and I so much joy. Thank you all. Jam that jam. Jam that jam, Harry. My condolences. Uh, Mike Jensen says possible that 2021 could be the greatest year for wrestling as a whole smackdown aew nxt and new japan pro wrestling are all awesome impact is great and relevant again the good parts of raw fiend bliss orton etc are great uh not to mention all the potential all the returns potential rollins lynch rouse the edge again the rock i'm trying to look at the positive side after the dumpster fire of 2020 and think this year it could be one of the greatest ever for wrestling as a whole i mean don't get me wrong i like, indie like 
non WWE wrestling, yeah, f- for sure. Um, I but just WWE dominates so I, much of the wrestling conversation, and it's not good. I <laughs> so, I would agree. SmackDown, I mean, SmackDown is SmackDown's pretty good. Um, Raw just is so dominantly bad that it kind of takes away from everything else. But I would say that yes, but also no, because I don't think it can be until we have fans back. Yeah. When the majority of wrestling can't happen, like all the indie shows that can't go on, all the promotions like Ring of Honor and Impact that are just still doing empty warehouse shows, like they can do their best, but it'll never be as good as when we can have fans back. I, th- I think 2021 could be the best year to go, like when we get fans back, the best year to be a li- live fan in attendance. Because those first few shows, especially like on the indie scene, when when there's fans again, and it, I mean, if, if, people, if fans are missing it as much as I'm missing doing the commentating, then like the first couple of shows back are going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about this kind of drip feed system of fans that's sort of happening now, like with AEW, with WWE's plans for WrestleMania doing like a fraction of the attendance. It's just like, yeah, there's you, you sort of want there to be that one moment where you, you sort of want it to be just like no fans, no fans, no fans, then that one show where they're mm-hmm. all back. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I'm sure that still will happen, of course, but like it's, yeah, I... It's going to be weird seeing a WrestleMania with what ten thousand people. I think is that the plan or something. Twenty five is what I heard. Yeah, something like that. Twenty five people. <laughs> Zach Robinson said, "Adam, Adam, <laughs> Pearson, terms and conditions apply. Had me in stitches. Please make this the way to do name that jam going forward. Absolute genius." Uh, Jared Zimmerman says, genius. "My name's Snake. I'm from a rival gang. So give me the drugs, or I'll go bang. I'm a real tough bloke. I'll murder your wife. Now give me the drugs, or you be in strife. Oh no, yeah. Uh, oh no, he's got the jump on me. But luckily, I've got a trick up my sleeve. Bang again. It's." Auntie Donna, very, very good. The uh, H Train 24 says, did, Tid, did Tinky Winky just replace Holla Holla? Uh, Omega is the best bout machine, but Andy is the best embarrassing song machine. Uh, Tyler Woodward said, Big Chungus, JBL's Pornhub number one search. Also, question for the room. If you could wrestle one big man in wrestling, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Mine would be Oldberg because I could run circles around him and he can't last two minutes. Yeah, but if he got hold of me, I'd be a bit worried. The Goldberg yeah. count is like a big guy. When I when I heard big guy, I was thinking like Andre the Giant, the Big Show, etc. I mean, of those, uh, I'd Giant probably Gonzalez. say Undertaker. I wouldn't want to wrestle Andre the Giant. I just oh. for some of the some of the stories I've heard of the rips he's pulled in the ring. Great yeah. Kali, great Kali would be okay. He just seems really happy to be there all the time, so I don't think he'd really like beat you up. That's. Not what I've heard. But if I could say that I'd share the ring with someone, I think, yeah, Undertaker. All right. Hey, guys. If you're going to wrestle a big guy, just just, just be like, oh, screw it, Brock Lesnar. And I'll whisper in his ear, you're a twat. And then just see what happens. In for a penny, in for a pound. Um, Exactly. Brother Bradley says, hey gang, second time watching, watched every episode and do a version of Quizlemania for my online friend group every Sunday. Been watching Adam since I was in high school like six years ago. Jam that jam. Hashtag orange is out of the office. Sadie Lady 59 says, Tempest, Tempest, he's our champ. If he can't win this, no one can. Go Tempest. Welcome Dave and wonderful to see you again. Adam Pearson. Hello Andy. Anyway, Team Tempest since day <laughs> one <one-ish>. Thanks. <laughs> Whoops. Arami Shna says, uh, new idea for a Quizlemania round, real Bray or fake Bray? Bray stuff based off the Brooklyn Nine-Nine party game, real Ray or fake Ray, where contestants guess whether a quote was said by Bray Wyatt or made up. I <laughs> you know, that's that. not bad. That's not bad. That's he said a lot good. of dumb shit. Uh, Brother Bradley, second ultra chat, gotta love it. Question, what's an underrated wrestling theme song? I'm stuck between Jack Swagger, Get Down on Your Knees, and Ember Moon's song. first theme. Also, Adam, could you say, oh, oh no, I think it's broken in the voice you did on the list. Um, underrated, like um, Apollo Crews, no one seems to like that theme as yes. much as I do. Um, it's the uh, best song for the most mediocre wrestler ever. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 Jesus. Uh, CM now Chris he's says, lost his belt. He doesn't care. He's just going to shoot on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, CM Chris says, with FMW being on the dark side of the ring season three, what was your m- favorite match in that eight video list you did on Japanese death matches a few years ago, Adam? Also, <laughs> thank you again for the entertainment with Quizomania. Jam that jam. Team Tempest. Bloody hell. I've, I've done my best. Like the one that took place in a, a weird bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> where like they just have to kind of run from like a hot tub like a grand doing this. it's very stupid uh, have you seen the, the uh have you seen the piranha death match i have seen the piranha death match, and i've seen the weird little like tiny Amazing. little baby crocodile death match like the alligator yeah. death match they it's Brilliant. so dumb josh phillips says hey hey fellas greeting from richmond virginia question for tempest being the resident canadian who is your favorite hockey team mine is the washington capitals love the show keep up and jam that jam the Toronto Maple Leafs, unfortunately. Oh, fair, fair, fair play to you. Fair play. Everyone knows an underdog. I quite like the Sabres. I'm a big Buffalo oh, Sabres guy. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd rather hey, be a Leafs fan than a Sabres fan. What a player. loser. Am I right? Any, anytime, anytime in New York, I can get tickets. So that's why I like them. Let's, oh, yeah. Let's make it happen. Quicker than yeah. a cheetah. Stronger than a buck. The best thing in Canada. Since the maple leaves suck, the, uh, hey, that's where we live. <laughs> we live in Toronto. The uh, uh, Guildford Flames are very good. I saw they them. are. They are a good team. Yeah. They are in. I think they're in the top league in the UK now. Uh, in the whole of the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Former Chelsea goalkeeper Petr Cech briefly played for. There you go. Zorni says thank you for all the wonderful content. I love that lineup, and I cheered loud. Poor neighbor when Adam took home all the points for the theme songs. Snake Twisted says, I'm American. My girlfriend is British. She just informed me of Lord Buckethead. I am obsessed with this gimmick. <laughs> How has he never been elected prime minister? We have no taste, unfortunately, as a nation. Say. Uh, Zach Robinson says, thanks for tonight's gents. Brilliant show as always. Question for Dave. What was your favorite match? What was your favorite match of the WCPW Pro Wrestling World Cup? I was at Stack 17 at Leeds 2 Academy and getting to see Ray versus Ricochet live at the front row made my night. Favorite match of the World Cup? Ooh, that's uh, really hard. That, that was awesome. And I'll tell you a story about that. Like uh, after the show, Ricochet came backstage and he said, we, we, we were like in the locker room talking and he said, he said, Rey Mysterio is, this is a, while, a time when Rey had not been in WWE for a while, of course. And he said, Rey Mysterio is 100% still the best wrestler in the world. And that was kind of the consensus of everyone after the uh, you know, appearances he put in, in in the World Cup. So yeah, there's there's Mysterio against Ricochet, there's Mysterio Osprey, there's, um, oh man, there's just, there's two I'll tell you who had some really good performances there. Who, who's on the uh, the indie scene is Speedball Mike Bailey, uh, who you might I love. Speedball Mike Bailey, uh, yeah. It'd be, I'm looking forward to when he can come back to the because he got banned, didn't he, from wrestling in America? Uh, yeah, I believe, yeah, yeah, believe, yeah, because yeah, he, he he was wrestling on the wrong kind of visa or something like that. But uh, we, I saw him against is it M MK something. Uh, I don't know. It was for progress, but he had this unbelievable match. He's one of the quickest wrestlers, and he just does these ridiculous kicks. Oh, it was one of the yeah one of the best matches I've seen live. I kind of I've kind of swerved the question there, haven't I? But like, there's too many. I can't pick. Is your answer is the answer? Uh, Miguel Fernandez says, "Go Pat, go." Uh, Rian yeah. Rian Rayon says, "Best for the back for the best bi weekly wrestling quiz on YouTube." Adam, what do you think of your future husband Keith Lee being sent to the Performance Center? I think that's crazy stupid of them to crazy stupid of them to do it. Oh, I don't know, man. Like, I want him to have good matches and I want him to be happy. Uh, so you know, I, whatever makes him happy. I don't know if that's the case. Um, how they've used Keith Lee so far is uh, baffling to say the least. Uh, Yusuf Rashid says, Tempest was screwed. He was a successful defense away from getting a statue in front of Scotiabank Arena. Hashtag <laughs> Tempest. That Tempest. Kara wants Trekkie 386 says, congratulations to my best friend, Andy, on your second Quizlemania win. Now let's see how second? long... Second? Yeah. Uh, won it fourth, in fact. I won the Wait. tag tiles as well. Well, you won it once and retained it once. That's not counting as a win. I, you Technically, you won the tag titles, but I, yes, I guess this is your third. Um, now let's see how long you can keep that gold shining brightly. Love your new haircut. Tempest, you had a long reign and you will someday reign again. 
and new team tempest for life hashtag jam that jam hashtag xander for quizzle mania uh, ria Nocta says, hey guys great show dave used to love your comms uh your commentary on wcpw it's the promotion that got me into indie wrestling fantastic news uh, xavier woods has been pushing for a return of king of the ring my question is who would you like to see win it my pick is cesaro or woods himself andrade andrade should have won the last one and be ray andrade would have been so cool oh that would have been cool to be fair uh yeah i can't really i can't really say someone that's more deserving than that other than maybe cesaro i always think you want a heel to win king of the ring because you want them to do that kurt angle thing where they goofily embrace the crown and the and the cape and all that so i i would I, yeah i won't pick someone but i thought uh, baron corbin did well in that regard when he did uh, like so i think any, anyone who's gonna uh yeah, make the most of the kind of slightly goofy uh, idea of it all is, is good. It, it was, sorry, Dave, just uh, it was TK Cooper against people Mike Bailey. Oh, uh, yeah. So what, what I saw, it was, yeah, just unbelievable. Um, Thank you, Kane, Louis, for sending me that. Kane Wardle says, hey, guys, my favorite match I've ever seen live is actually a WCPW title match between Drew Galloway and Ricochet at the English qualifying event for the Wrestling World Cup. Also saw the Bullet Club beat the piss out of Gabriel Kidd. Great event. That was, the, that was dark. <laughs> to be fair <laughs> but uh yes no he was uh he was in a member of bullet club for the night and then afterwards they <laughs> young lion gabriel kid yeah long lion gabriel kid really love to see it uh destructive dog says finally a dictator style leader who forced crocodile tears from his followers and has bad hair has stopped being leader of oh wait sorry mr davis is still in charge of wrestle talk isn't he unlucky this time adam i'm sure you'll win one soon jack archer says absolution may be on the lower tier of hitman games but it still gave us a uh, death by ghost ice cream truck oh yes indeed also eject a seat from hitman 2016 for the win very good uh angel uh Agent Orange Skies says, thanks for being so uplifting, everyone. Glad to be able to donate on a stream with Adam Pearson. Brian Doyle says, who do you all think is worse at promos? The big bad booty daddy Scott Steiner or the master and ruler of the world, Psycho Sid? You can't. Scott Steiner's not bad at promos. That's got to be Sid. Yeah. yeah I don't good. think Sid's that bad. Sometimes. Occasionally. <laughs> but, but Dave, um, he has half the brain that you do. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would, Sid's, uh, Sid's build to WrestleMania 8 when he fought Hogan, ignoring the match itself, uh, oh, I thought he was a good, menacing monster heel. Don't, don't beat up on Sid, is my message here. Um, Brother Bradley says, wasn't sure if my other one for $5 went through, but wanted to say thanks for everything, guys. If they did, just give me a knife ways instead. Can I get an, oh, no, it's broken. Uh, from Adam, the orange is out of the office. Hamlet423 says, when is Donald Trump going to appear in some capacity? WWE, Royal Rumble, fucking hope not. Get him out of the hall. Brandon said, thank you all, as always, for an entertaining time, especially when I finish a night of working overtime. In honor of the great Mr. Pearson playing along, what would your mastermind specialist subject be? Ooh. I mean, it, Harry Potter. Yeah, it I was mean, just yes. 100% big. Or Woking. Yeah. Um, I used to know a lot about Bond films, but I can't fall off that. Ugh, maybe wrestling, board games, perhaps. But like even then, I'm like, there's so much to to learn. What about you guys? I mean, I'm wrestling. It's yeah, boring, but that, like that's the, that's what I know. Yeah, uh, it's our life. Yeah. <laughs> if not <laughs> wrestling, I would say uh, MCU movies. Oh, no. good, because you, you have to pick more than one thing. I had to send a list of five things ah. so that they, they knew that there was enough meat on the bone for, for all of them. Yeah. And so my, my list of five, because I'm an adult, were uh, <laughs> WWE Wrestling, the TV show Gladiators, the TV show Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, <laughs> Pokemon The Kanto Region, and Final Fantasy VII. Oh, Adam! Uh, Amazing. Damn. That is a that is an arsenal of. I, I would have said Pokemon once upon a time, but man, there's just too goddamn many of them now. Uh, El yeah, Coyote Jason uh, says Adam. Sorry, Adam, no, don't Andy, carry on. I, I, I swear to God, and this El Coyote Jason <laughs> Adam. No one appreciates the holla holla jokes as much as they should. It gets me every time. Can I get a holla holla from my girlfriend Keely? Ice gem, that gem. Holla, holla, holla. You're welcome, Keely. 
Carol one says, hello again. Sending in another chat. Say, Adam Pearson, your teddy bears are adorable. I have yet to watch the full Quizomania, but dying to see your answers. Gotta love having to work on Quizomania Day. Oh, and Blompier, Phenomenerds was a great name. Holla, holla, holla. Holla, holla, holla. I like Phenomenas, but No Rolls Bard is a better name. Dirty Rich has just jumped on after work to contribute. Absolutely love Quizomania. Thanks for the friendos at Going Good Raw for introducing me to it. Bring Steve back and the Dong Lord SRS. Adam B is the shit. Fuck that fuck. Don't aim for her hair. Uh, Seth Andy Datsun's number one fan says, will Hangman join the Dark Order? Maybe get some of that good old Preston Vance titty milk? Yeah. Sorry? That's, that's being the elite for you. Oh. Uh, Noah Pierce has donated five Canadian dollars, not barely worth the paper it's printed on. So it's, uh, <laughs> just, because it, just because it bothers me, an Urunagi slam is not a rock bottom forward slash bookend. An Urunagi in wrestling involves a pivot or a turn to create a throw. A rock bottom falls down. Look at Kenny, Bray, or Joe do an Urunagi. They turn the victim. So you've been told, Tempest. And Tyler oh, Woodward. Yeah. Tyler Woodward says, could we uh, see Lesnar return at the Rumble, have Lashley eliminate him, and we get Lashley versus Lesnar at Mania. Also, Clumpy, can you say, Tyler is going to fuck you up. I need it for a promo on my Mania feud on my channel, Last Fan Standing. Thanks, Mumbles Out, JTJ. Thanks, Mumbles Out, JTJ. Uh, JTJ. Tyler is going to fuck you up. All right, and that is all the ultra chats that we have for the evening i could probably get in one quick game hitman 3 before bed uh thank you so much to Wait. adam um uh, thank you so much to adam <laughs> underscore pearson uh for being here thank you so much to dave bradshaw for being here thank you more specifically to you guys for being here and we'll see you next time on quizomania have a bloody lovely night bye everybody <laughs>